Tonight's podcast, as always, sponsored by JMW Heating and Plumbing Limited. Domestic and commercial, gas, heating, plumbing and building maintenance, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, emergency call out, covering the whole of South Wales and South West England. You can contact them on email info at jmwheating.co.uk and on the phone 0330 100 There's 10% discounts for NHS and military veterans, 5% discounts for Swansea City season ticket holders and Ambition is Critical podcast listeners. You get a free quotation, they're a safe contractor member and a backseat accredited installer. Um, as always, sponsored by the Bunk House Swansea, Swansea's number one dedicated music venue. This weekend, they start their month-long birthday celebrations, so come down for drinks, deals, live music and DJs. You can follow them, the Bunk House Swansea, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. This is going to get fucking tasty, baby. Turk is just putting these things in so I can make an idiot to myself every week. He's even told me, but I'm still going to do it because I don't care. Hashtag your gig matters. And finally, the uh, Boss Brewery. The brewery bar is back and it's bigger and better than ever. Only 200 metres from the Liberty Stadium and open before and after every Swans and Ospreys game where it has a new outside bar for quicker service on match days. The bar itself is open from the earlier time of 1pm on a Friday until a Sunday night and serves all the boss range of beers that are brewed on site. There is a new takeaway set up inside the bar so you can pick up bottles, cans and 10 pint mini kegs to drink at home. They also have brewery tours. Uh, they are £25 a head and include two hours of all you can drink beer. You can contact Boss Brewery Direct on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter to organise that. Starting as of this Monday 9th of September, they have a new open mic night hosted by Hatham Mustafa. There is no sign-up necessary. Just turn up on the night. All abilities are welcome. There's deals on drinks and there's a welcoming, laid-back environment. Up to three performances per person and free parking on site. So that officially launches Monday 9th of September at 8pm. So come along and show off your skills or simply an excuse for a Monday night beer. Woohoo! I got through that first time after seven attempts last week. Tonight, I haven't been this excited for a podcast for ages. It's two years since we started. Enzo Mack was one of my favourites. He's back tonight. I wanted to do something big because it's a two-year birthday. And Enzo was really enjoyed last time round. I sent him a message. He was back at me within a minute. I was like, Ryan, I want to do it, mate. I said, look, I got this idea. We'll just get everyone to send us in some stupid questions and we'll have a novel and, and, and have a, have a, just have a great night. And he said, mate, 100% no problem. He told me he's bringing all his belts down as well. So you know me, going to be massively nerded out tonight. Spend the night with Enzo Mac. We're going to have a laugh. This is episode 83 of the Ambition is Critical Pong, pod, Pongcast podcast. I fucked it up right at the end. What a minge. It's 83. AIC podcast. Enzo Mac Ranelli. <laughs> Ambition is critical. What a moment, Brad. Oh, World titles now. Let me tell you, if you'd have told me when I was going around the Colin Beans watching Floyd Harvard and fucking Peter Harris and Michael Harris sparring, that I'd be holding the fucking WBO fucking belt on my shoulder when I was 41. <laughs> Even though it's not mine, right? Granted, it might not be mine, but still, it's fucking something to tell the grandkids, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a great fault to like, you know, we fucking, we love that. Oh, I'm massively that. appreciative of that. And, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, the WBO title, for me, when I first started watching boxing, was the first time I ever remember it was on Eubank. Yeah, you know? Right. And, and it was a big thing, wasn't it? You know, it was beat uh, Watson, and beat Watson, Watson and, and then it sort of he went on that sort of maybe did a world tour and all that. That was all WBO, yeah, and then yes, WBO yeah. title and that, and that's and then to have that there now, along with obviously the Commonwealth, the British and the European, well that's new to us as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. European before. No, and it was only recently I noticed that because I saw Jay. Ah, well, yeah, I never yeah, sort yeah. of paid any attention. I never to paid much attention. You always think of the big green belt, and you right, but. The one, the two that have always stuck up to me, I always thought the British belts are a thing of beauty. Mm. You know what I mean? They are sort of, they just well designed, old fashioned, but still fucking lovely. And the iconic one is the Rig magazine with Rocky, Rocky yeah. cans, like it's fucking outstanding, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Fucking amazing, like, brilliant. Yeah. 
Well, let me go through why we came up with this idea for tonight. Because obviously, this is it's not two years. It's two years tonight, as in the day, because it was right. on a Thursday. But the actual date is the seventh. So I hadn't even fucking realised. It was only yeah. last week. I was looking at the... Um, I was uploading the podcast. It was from last week. And I looked at went, Fuck me. We're about, we about two years. And I checked the date. It was the seventh. I was like, we've got to do something. I said the party. Like, and we were, we were like... And I did come up with the idea to ask you. Because I remember you saying... I hope you've got me on for the next yeah. season, <laughs> isn't it? And I was like, fucking hell, it's of course you fucking come on every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... Trish sticks like, fuck off. <laughs> He's got, you got a year contract, like, you know what I mean? So, I was like, uh... I, I, I had seen, uh... Because he loves a Q&A on Twitter, yeah. it? and obviously we've talked about it on the past, not even when you weren't on, you know, we talked about you doing a Q&As on Twitter and obviously being really good and, and speaking back and forth to people and having a novel. And I thought, no, ends would be great because we've done Ask AIC a couple of times, like, and we always get stupid questions and all that. And yeah, I thought, absolutely. Enzo's perfect for this. Ask Enzo, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah. fucking fits Come in the ass. I was like, mate, that's a fucking genius shot. Right. You know what I mean? So, and we love the Q&A with Enzo, apart from the only one that tickled us, I remember talking about, I can't remember yeah. what it was about, though. It was about something stupid, probably about... No, because he, he had a kick-off the other day because he didn't want anyone to pick things that wasn't oh, in his pool. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. It was yeah. something stupid like, who would win, E-Man or Skeletor? And because he put oh, it in man, yeah. Enzo was like, yeah, listen, no, it's my no, pool. No. If I think it's fucking Skeletor, we're going to fight Come on, no Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go big. Come well, on, no Rambo. You can put a poll up there. Yeah. Yeah. Three people. And they start adding others. He's not on a fucking pod. <laughs> <laughs> he did it literally two days ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I still fucking had it. And there's still people on. going, oh, I'm over and over and over. No, so placid as in like on Twitter talking about boxing. When it comes to fucking Rocky, Commando, and fucking uh, Skeletal, he turns into Paul Smith, didn't he? And that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a good thing about this, like, is actually out of all the ones we've done, I reckon this is the best set of questions we've had. Really? Because I think got a bit of respect. Because got a bit of respect. A bit of respect involved. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. mate, so you know some of the stuff we got asked, right? When we done the live podcast, right? We got asked something which I would dare not repeat, right? My parents were there. <laughs> and I just said, I guess, handed a card with something on it. And boy, you shouldn't repeat it. Would you rather blow job off your old man oh. or lick your mother up? Oh, I, don't, <laughs> well, that's I, I, I said straight away, lick his mother up. No problem. <laughs> oh, I had no qualms about him whatsoever. Right, yeah. Worst thing was, she was sitting right by us. She was literally within licking distance. She was within licking distance. She was within licking distance. She was all that. She was all that. So, <laughs> it is, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is the way it goes. Out. It's all fucking downhill for me, aren't it? Oh, great, mate. So I did actually pop my own because I was like thinking, fuck, not just obviously because last time we done the podcast, yeah, yeah the podcast was a podcast part of it, and I had, obviously since then a lot have gone on because it's over a year. No, it's over a year. Yes, yeah, it's it's over a year. Right? Yeah, it'll yeah, be over yeah. a year. Um, since we did the last one, so obviously a lot have come on. So it is a good mix of Dallas fuck and. Proper talking point ones of type of shit that we're interested in. Yeah, right? No, yeah, and then I, I answer it. pretty much anything. Yeah, no fairness. Like, yeah. Uh, right, should we just crack into it? Yeah, fuck it. You've got right. loads here. Like, you want like to get to it? What I like to do, yeah, we want to get through as many as we can, right? Have we got a time frame on this? Nah, mate, I got We've got a couple of seasons. Paddy Messes brought me some kicks in. What, what, what she didn't tell you, that's a fucking space kick. Yeah. We've got these questions involved. We're back at Badsalam Park when we're brought through the belt. Hey, you know. So, um, what I like to do is the people who come in first, we'll give them the best of us. So, this is Thomas Davis. He's a big follower of the podcast. It's been from the start. Bubba Davis on Twitter. Right. Probably talked to him in the past anyway. Have you ever considered BKB at all? You would be devastating with your power. No, I have been asked. I've been asked, offered a lot of money. Uh, I look at it where if I caught someone clean, I think I could kill them. Mm. Uh, and me just knowing that, if I did, I'd go in there and done it. And if I did do what I think I could do, you know, that'd be my life ruined. Or on the other side of things, I'd smash my hand so bad, I wouldn't wipe my ass again for the rest of my life. Yeah, right. So it's, it's, it's just no, no way I can inflict. I'd like to inflict. Do you feel that? Is that one? See, it's, it's easy for us to say when, if someone just had a fucking scrap in a Morris and who knows at the end of the day nothing would really happen. But who do look at it as, fuck me, I could genuinely fucking kill someone. And well, that is a worry. I, 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 you know, I'd watched it and I don't think people... I know see me punch and stuff like that. I don't think people realise how hard I actually hit. Yeah, of course. And, yeah, yeah. you know, for me to think if I catch someone clean, I could kill them. If I did go in there, mm. 
and actually did do something like that, yeah. I, I'd be fucking hard to do. Especially if you've I was thought about it anything. before. Yeah, exactly. Like if you hadn't thought about it and it happens, it's, oh my God. Do you know what I mean? I've been worried a few times boxing, really? especially in the younger, my amateur days. I don't get even ever mentioned about the time I, with Roy Jones, I took a knee and stuff like that. I got amateur fights when I was 17, I'd done the same to them, and he'd never seen me celebrating because the last thing I want to do is fucking wreck someone's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a sport at the end. Yeah, of course it yeah, is. It's, it's not I don't want to wreck your life, I think, because I think you would have It would, it would, mate. Every day. Honestly, honestly, it would, mate. I don't want to damage anyone. Like no, no, no. My, and my grandpa always used to say that to me, because, you know, when he was young and he always taught me about boxing, he said, you know, when I stand with these pro boxers, especially the bigger boys, they could literally kill you with one punch. Yeah. He always used to bring that up all the time. I, I, I don't believe I could do that, like, yeah, well, actually, on the, the thing of BKB, James Lilly this week is fighting That's massive. John Wayne Ebert. I, th- I think I'm doing comedy on that. You oh, are, yeah. amazing. Uh, we love so. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to do comedy on that, then I'm shooting out the BT studios do the Fury fight as well. Is that oh, the same night? Is, great, it? Like, is yeah. that the same night? Yeah. Is yeah. It? Oh, fuck it. Because Lilly was on to me while going up, but it's the week before my 40th, and I'm away for my 40th. So I it's just, basically she's stopping him. Nah, it's very nice. I'll fight the new. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. All right, right. Bert asked the question, and we get asked it every time, would you rather fight 10 horse-sized ducks or 100 duck-sized horses, right? But someone come up, <coughs> called Big Tasty, who asked a few questions, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't follow the podcast, but he's asked a few, and they were quite good, right? But this was better. Would you rather fight 10 frank ducks, frank si- frank frank du- sized ducks, or 100 duck-sized frank du? Duck now, do you know who frank du is? Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But do you know the Jack and Ori behind that? Yeah, he's full, full of shit. The original Frank, dude. He's full of shit. Yeah, right. So this. What is the original? Right, that's right, right, the right, first right, right, Let me educate you. What? Let me educate you. Don't go giving me the blood sports to do a poor dude. Kickboxer. 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 You are in the eye. Right, so I swear my life, right? I found this out a few years ago. Because I saw kickboxing when I was a kid. And I haven't seen it. I'm I haven't seen it. Yeah, but I haven't seen it for years. Right. Do they age well? And I can imagine. Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Angel's there every, every other week watching yeah. that doorway up there. Yeah. 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 I remember my dad started on band that <laughs> I was I was I, was, I, I saw it somewhere about this Frank do fucking f- they basically make up he's a fake martial artist and that and he yeah. was he uh, was trained by a Japanese ninj- ninjutsu master yeah. Yeah. and he fought in an underground tournament called the Kumite. Right. Yeah. And he said Right, I, I, read, I say as I fucking read it. Right, 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 right. Right. Was it? Kumite. There we are. I'll take it for you from you. Only but film. he, like that story, is what Kickboxer became as a film. Oh, no, Blood, Blood, Blood Sport. Blood Sport became Blood a film. Sport. Sorry, Blood Sport Jeez, became a film. Don't mess these films up. Oh, oh, right. 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 the shop. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Jump over Van Damme. A Wall is my favourite. That's the one I. That's the one he's. Lionheart. Yeah, the governor. I have seen Lionheart. No, AWOL is lying up. Oh, right. Yeah, when he's yeah, fighting yeah. in the fucking tournament. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's my favourite one. I only saw a kickboxer in Blood Sport probably once. once Can anyone once. remember No Retreat, No Surrender? Of course you yes. do. Of course you do. There was a few of them. What cool. was the one where. Number two, number two, I think I remember it was going. What was the one where there was a ghost in it? It was a ghost in it. Fucking last night. You were talking and you come home. I think I was the two ducks pulled from my hat in Germany. So 10 Frank Du sized ducks or 100 duck sized Frank Du. 100 duck sized ducks? You've got to go this way. Yeah, 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 kill him. Nah, this ducks. is from Richard Mansell. Enzo's top five, five films ever. He, this is his. Number one, Warriors. Number two, Roadhouse. Number three, Any Which Way You Can. Number four, Stand By Me. And number five, Casino. Mansell, Mansell, Mansell haven't upgraded Great his films. TV since the 80s. No, I know. <laughs> Mansell got him in his Beat the Max collection, did he? Huh? To be honest, I don't know. I, I think uh, Gladiator would be number one for me. Godfather 2. Got to stick fucking Rocky in there, innit? Yeah, right? of course, yeah. Somebody up there likes me. I had Rocky Graciano story. I've old, never ever seen that. Old one. You told us about that. Crack, yeah. Crack, innit? You told us about that last time. And I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I like so many, you know, I brought me. My missus always says to me. Eddie Murphy, 48 hours, another 48 <laughs> oh, yeah, hours, coming to America. He was like, he was like, the die yards and all that. Yeah. So, you know, I just so many. Like, the burbs, fucking oh, burbs. Oh, the burbs are classic. Brilliant. But my missus always says to me, if something comes on TV, oh, shit, Tina, I gotta watch this one of my favourites. She goes, you've got literally about 150 favourite films. Yeah. Just, it, it was that, like, uh, something in the paper the other day, 100 films we must watch. And I, oh, I think someone put on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, fuck, we have seen most of them, like, right? all of us. Yeah. I think it's, it's part of our culture, and they've got to be into films. We've got to be into telly. I know some people say, oh, I've never got time to watch telly. I ain't got much time, but 
You've got to make type of films. You've got to make type of telly, you know. So what's your thoughts on coming to America too? Yeah, I guess. I, I wait, uh, wait and see, you know. I wait and see. Nothing's gonna touch the original. No, the, no. Original, the original goes down as one of the best comedies ever. I, I was just having a load at the moment with the new Rambo. I will say, bad fucking, boys. I, I, I fucking buzzing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Of course, I have a John Rambo. Pictures? You know the pictures of me? Yeah. You know what I don't have pictures. Hundred percent. How's he gonna move around? He must be doing some good growth. Fuck. Yeah, he's old, isn't he? Sixty-three, eh? Good day. Oh, that's fucking shredded, man. Yeah. 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 You know, we're looking at all these films. He just happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. All yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You yeah. weren't in food in the first one. Fuck <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened? Bit of scrap, like you know. He's like a fucking steroided up version of Tico Cozy Peak, really. Isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> they haven't got wrong. Really? They haven't got Sylvester Stallone painted in the three laps, are they? Oh, you know what I mean? Have they got Tico Cozy Peak in the three laps? Yeah, they got like a mirror up. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Like, I've been in there. You know, great. Like, you know, yeah. we walk fucking thousand miles to hand back a fucking yeah. driver's license. Really, yeah, right, right. Right. My missus said to me, like, this two days ago, she said to me, uh, Oh, it's a film I want to watch it. And I went, Oh, right, you're outside. What's that? Twin Town. I said, Oh, fuck me. What are you catching no up way. with it now, would you? We fucking made in 1997 or something. Yeah. Cracking How can you be from Swansea? I've not seen fucking yeah, Twin yeah, Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mean, like, Guess what? Like, team, where do you think the fucking name for the podcast and all the of course, fucking yeah, music yeah, name comes from? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know he was all, Well, it's from this fucking scene by early. Like, yeah. Don had to like the watch Twin Town because the rivals of the jazz bands are marching in the beginning. Swansea must have had the evil, like, you know, brilliant film. Brilliant film. I actually genuinely we watched it last night really it's such a stack well yes so, yeah it's sinister as fuck mind yeah, it's you know, really, you know it's funny and you've got all the um, the hot dogs for T-boys yeah, and all this that you yeah, remember yeah. right but when you actually get into the crux of the story it's mm. quite fucking sinister yeah, it's quite dark mm. yeah it's do you quite think dark. it translates well with yeah I think it do because I remember being on holidays and people see it and say yeah Oh, it's great. Fuck. We was in Falarabi and yeah. we was walking down the road and we were fucking about and some boy heard our accent and was like, oh, dogs are T-boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you see the they, they, they were the standard test type. Same as train spotting. Yeah. Oh, oh, quality quality film. Incredible film. Quality film. Yeah, yeah, incredible film. We had trying our best to get the director because he lives in Mumbles in Kevin Allen. Like, right. So we worked on getting him in the yeah, internet. You know, he won't be as good as me. No, no, no. No, no, no. He won't bring no fucking belts. No, he won't bring no fucking belts. He doesn't even know what duck size Frank Dick is. <laughs> oh, this is what it would like. David Owen of the TDLO podcast. Oh, Does Connor beat Floyd I, I, in the fucking, rematch? I, I, <laughs> oh, mate. I had it all. He was there one night. He was at a, he was at a Bundo show. And the pro, proper MMA boys are boxing fans. Proper boxing fans are MMA fans. They know the difference. Yeah. They know the difference of boxing and MMA. But with the likes of, you know, Dorky, <laughs> you know, he, he's I will say he knows this stuff sometimes. Like, he, he, he comes out, he's like, oh, he's the hardest hit a Floyd. I said, shut up. He's going to be too big. I said, don't be stupid. He's going to hit him with angles he's never seen before. And I'm just looking at him thinking, what a twat, like. What the hell are you going about? We run a podcast about boxing. What the hell are you going about? So the next thing, he, he give me back me money. Neither say he fucking lost. Uh, I have got a video of someone who had to turn up my house and give me my 20 quid. <laughs> 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 so for his answer, Dave, no. No, this fucking. What do you think about that? I do watch our live. Mate, yeah. at the end, of course you did. It was an event. At the, the, end, at the end of the day, man, I, I was at a wedding, I had it all night, and I'm like, no, he's not. I said, same as if Floyd went in the cage. Nothing happened. Totally, yeah, nothing yeah. happened. But the worst thing for me about it was Floyd carried it. Yeah, yeah. And now I've got people saying, boys who don't watch oh, boxing. Ah, like, oh, you done better than Pacquiao. You yeah, that's it. But what the they don't do, do, do realise is me wear the box on the back foot, he throws one or two punches around. He was up against a much, much bigger man and mm. he bullied it. He pushed him around the ring, he went forward. Yeah. It's a different game. If Floyd went in the cage, it goes exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, course, but, yeah. you know, for me, someone said to me before, was you jealous of McGregor? And I'm thinking, no, he's worked his bollocks off to get where he is. Yeah, yeah. It just so happened. The fight, the fight was only made because of, I wouldn't even say MMA fans, Conor McGregor fans. Yeah, timing. Actually thinking he was going to yeah. land that left hand. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, how many yeah. times have you seen replays of that uppercut? I was and people say, that. people say, he caught him. But I'm like, yeah, he caught him. He literally didn't move it. He didn't do nothing. Like, so like, maybe, maybe they're pushing back, he's boxing in front of him. He don't box like that. He no. never boxed like that. He looked, he looked shapeless. So I don't think he trained. Then he was in a strip club mm -hmm. a couple of nights before. And, you know, it's just difference in levels. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think as well, do you think he could have done the corner what he did to that little chinky guy? Uh, I don't think he'd be that quick, but yeah. Not you know, he could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like 
Someone, someone said the other day about that, that, that Chinese boy taking a dive. Yeah. He didn't take no, no, a dive. He's, he's just never been it. And he was like so small. He chose too small. Way too small for it. Because that guy is supposed to be very, very talented. And he is. He's got very, very, good. very fast hands. Yeah. Who's talking talk difference in levels? Of course. Yeah. And yeah. if he was in under his rules, it'd be the same thing. Yeah, yeah. He's so small. It'd be the same thing. He'd do out the flight. Yeah. So it's just Throwing different kicks sport. Different sport. I love both sports. Is it like, you know, like you look at like kickboxers, like who's the one I used to love watching fucking videos? A Ram on Decker, is it? The yeah, next yeah. guy, like the guy and all that. So who's saying kickboxing, boxing, <laughs> MMA? <laughs> There's a huge difference in it. Massive. Kickboxing, Massive. kickboxing and boxing. Massive. Is it? Yeah, yeah. We had a we had a boy we had a boy come up to the gym. Um, I won't mention his name, so I won't embarrass him. He was going very high level from Portal Portal, but so so on and He came in, went to the spa me. Yeah. And I said, Oh look, look, boy, uh, I'm not interested. Like, yeah. I said, I've got plenty of boys here for him. I said, but you know, don't bother with me, you know. He said, Oh, but I'd be uh, good. I said, look, look I I'd seen it before. Yeah. So I said, look, I've got a boy here, Sean. Sean Loy, his name is, right? Oh my God, you're not going to believe this. this. I was, fucking... I tell you something about Sean. Right? Boy. I tell you something about Sean. Hardest punch I've ever seen. Really? Unbelievable. No. Un- <laughs> Laziest fucker I've ever seen. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you've gone in with this boy. This boy's about six foot seven. Oh, Sean's short little yeah. fat dumpling. And he, two seconds. And Sean's hitting him with the left. That fucking boy's gone clean up. Yeah, yeah. A couple of weeks later, fair boy, play the boy, he comes back. He said, oh, look, I underestimated him because he was so small and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You've got some of my own size. So I had Rob Reese. Oh, fuck, so, right. So, yeah, so yeah. I said, oh, I'm going with Rob. The same thing, I'm Rob's hitting my right hand. He's gone over the ropes. He's sleeping on one side of the ropes. His legs are on the other side of the yeah. ropes. Neither seeing them come back again. But it's just different levels. And if Rob fought him on his kickboxing, yeah, he'd kick of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maddie cool. mentioned Sean. We was talking that. Uh, Sean's sister, Rachel, is gone, mother to my daughter. And she was talking last night about they listens to her work. So for her now, we loves Rachel, yeah. For her now, we listen to Rachel. Oh, honestly, God, God, right, Sean. Honestly, God. Now he's placid as a kid. I can't believe what he's saying. Like. Dynamite puncher. Really? Dynamite Fucking puncher. Fucking hell, unbelievable. And you're going to ask anybody comes yeah. to the gym, dynamite puncher. I used to watch him spar- I used to watch him sparring the boys and I used to watch Tobias go in he used to beat all the boys up mate. of course <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd take his time on Sean no way even though he's way, way too good for of Sean course, yeah, he's yeah. trying to take his time just I think, in case I, think I, was right now, I was going to like, put Sean in his place like, but no it could have been it could have been good really I tell him I know and yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. he listens to it he fucking blew it Never. But he, he could have been good trust mm. me still for the hands up the same God I ain't going to fucking yeah, I take it up on right d Jam. Port Albert or Port Tennant? Bear in mind where you are. Go be Port, go be Port Tennant. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I grew up in Borny Mine back. Exactly. Borny Mine. I just went to Borny Mine. So you've got to go Port Tennant. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know a couple of Port Albert boys. Don't like half of them. But they're like, <laughs> right. I've got to go Port Tennant. Yeah. Don't, don't forget, Enzo got the Porsche's car, Port Tennant, the senior yeah, agents. No, all no. junkies are around Port uh, around Enzo. Yeah, yeah, I'm always like a monster. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> It's a massive fucking crowd from Enzo's car, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like that uh, when uh, Tommy Morrison turns into Rocky's patch in Rocky 5, innit? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a nice one, you like this, Enzo, for Mark Swinglers. Do you think Rambo can step up to the mark now he's in his 70s? Of course he can, mate, of course he can. Well, you know, mate, all the money he's got, you know, he's getting quality growth, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's not making most stuff. Trying chambers and the leader. It's not making most stuff from Portal, but in quality. He's got no Mexican. Like, uh, yeah, you said about, I think we talked about this before, Slice the Wall. Like, you've met him, have you? Yeah, yeah, a couple of times. Is it really? A couple of times. I had a beer with him as well. No way. He could have Lived the dream. Mate, he's amazing. We met him in. Um, what would this have been for? Like, Premier? For, no, first, yeah, first time was Rocky Balboa Premier. Uh, well, I like maybe the other one. Met, content this season. Not, not, not go on. Went to went to meet him. Had dinner with him. I like, fucking massive fan. I pissed off, asking yeah. him questions all night <laughs> and tortured him. Yeah. So I asked him for a party round next round. Boy, let me down. <laughs> uh, generally, I fucking right, tortured. Yeah, yeah. A couple of years later in Vegas, Joe Hopkins. I'm in the in the back room. I'm watching Joe weigh in. I have a tap on the shoulder. Um, Enzo Amari, right? oh, I, just locked, I love it. I literally it. just locked down and I thought, yeah. the fucking rock me members me. Yeah, <laughs> I had, a, had a beer with him after in the hotel. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. You know, when I think, I think what I've done as a kid, they grow up and I oh, you know, like, meet, meet my idols. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, the care of everyone says, you fucking, he was a boxer. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the story goes, you're more people in the boxing than well, the, 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 the,
when he talks about the fights in the films, he talks about like the real fights. Mate, when I was talking to him, he, he had great knowledge of boxing. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I, was talk, I was talking about him about films he didn't even know got released over here, like Paradise Alley as a wrestling mm -hmm. film and stuff like that. And he met, he's amazing. I met, I met all my idols, my two, top two probably, Tyson and uh, Stallone. Asked them every question I've ever wondered. And they both could have turned out to be a bunch of pricks. But amazing. Yeah. Even even Balbo, even Rock and Balbo. <laughs> even Stallone. I met him on a met him on a Friday, we went to the premiere on the Monday, mm -hmm. and I turned back up and I tell him about my daughter loves loves Rocky and stuff like that. And he, he came on to me, he said, uh, he said, Your daughter, I said, Yeah, he said, Would she be up now? I said, Yeah, he said, Can I talk to her? So he thought I phoned, and I said someone talked to him, and he couldn't hear that. And he walked yeah. over in the corner for about 15 minutes. How and amazing talked is that? And I come back, I said, Oh, what did he say? He said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him, he said, Well, yo, well, I fought Apollo, you know, I went. Oh, no, no, no. Tyson, amazing, Stallone was amazing, yeah. brilliant. Oh, I can't fault it. Uh, Mark Teasdale, who wins in a scrap and by what means? John Rambo or Dutch from Predator? Oh, it's got to be Rambo, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, you got a Dutch. You, you retired after one fucking. Yeah, yeah. He was one and done. Ran, yeah, ran boy, yeah. done a police force. He done a fucking Philip Vietnam Army. Yeah, they, 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 all of them. They got Rambo three fucking top on the entire Russian, Russian army. Yeah. His own. They got patches. He's, 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 he's on all. He's on all spack like fucking. Hell. And he's still going. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch retired after the. Yeah. Oh, Dutch is hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But you know. It was too much for him, isn't it? Rock, he's like, uh, on his horse, he's like Bin Laden. Nobody, no one, uh, no one Bin Laden first came out when he said he was in Bora Bora. Do you know what I generally thought he was? I'd be there. Do you know what I said? Bora Bora. I didn't realise he was in Bora Bora in the middle of oh, Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, I had a yeah. vision of him away, Linux, and like fucking doing, oh. like doing a spray, spray day and all that. Oh, yeah, but all the time, Rambo and John Matrix Commando. At the end of, oh, right, at the, yeah. end of the day, you couldn't see Rambo struggling with the Freddie Mercury like, like no, 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 as he's good as Big X was. Yeah. No, Ram, Ram, Rambo's king. No Enzo. He's eight these films. He's oh, man. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 he's the best in you know yeah. You can imagine him with his noise VHS running man and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is a man. Oh, running man. This is a fucking Running man is a classic. Fucking brilliant. I'll be back. Richard Kimbrough. Going Richard back to Glass. Killian. No, no, no. Right have... in as well. Oh. Fuck you, really? Yeah, honest to God. Who did you mean? What's the fucking crowd? I, I, boxed, I boxed in MBN Arena, Hatton boxed to Suzu. Yeah. After I bought, I was on early. Right. After yeah, I yeah. boxed, they introduced champions in the ring. Hang on, hang on, I'll be right. Let's rewind slightly. Yeah, because Hatton boxed Suzu is pretty big. big. Atten Costa Zool was one of the biggest nights in the world. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Russell Crowe. Don't worry about it. At the time, 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 I was a massive Russell Crowe fan. Right, yeah. Uh, Chico Corrales, uh, David Corrales, had fought him amazing. Yeah, yeah. We were in the ring, they called champions out, and I'm standing there, and next to Corrales and all that. And he mentioned Russell Crowe. And I'd literally fucking run all out of the ring like that. Oh my God, you fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, all right, it's fine. Next day, the day you smacked that girl on the head with a phone, remember that? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must have talked to them like that. I just yeah. had enough. Yeah. This fucking Italian Welsh boxer done my fucking head in. Oh, so right, go back to the gladiator. Who did you box on? Uh, oh, I, I, I boxed an heavyweight, Roman Bugaj. He was a Polish heavyweight, and it was always it was always funny. See, I was, I was going in there, and I, 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 I was wild. I just wanted to take him out. And I remember Jim Watt, who's done a comedy. He said, "Oh look, Enzo was good." He said, "But you know, he's trying to load up." He said, "What's the point in that?" And as I said, I banged this guy with the right hand. He right. said, "Oh, there's a point in that." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get no shed from Bonnie Mai. Yeah, and stories come up watching fight. Like the story goes that you went up. They ever had a bus from the Borny, like this kid organised it, obviously, like, gone up to the Borny, uh, gone up. He'd watched Enzo fight. Yeah. And then he fucked off to yeah, the Borny. All of them All of them All of them did. All of them did. missed one of the most iconic fights. Yeah, isn't it? I've got to say, right, I had some of my best fans around, they you travel anywhere, they'd watch me and they'd go. Yeah. Mate, it was did, did he watch Atten Costa Zoo? If it was one fight he was going to say, yeah. watch, it'd be that one, isn't it? Do you, you, you say the most? Mate, yeah. I, 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 a massive boxing fan. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was there, it was a show the night before Michael Brown, he was on the night before. I even turned up after the way in to watch Arnold. Like, yeah. He kept telling me to get back to the hotel. Like, yeah, yeah. I said, ah, it's fucking, does me fine, I guess. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this is just Anthony, I'm sure you know who this is. Who was the best double after Bobby Knock and Houses in Mansell and Cumbulla? I never done a I never done a Bobby Knock right, so I won't into all that. But I did. I don't know if Paddy remembers. How many years old are you, Pat? 
Three, maybe? I was in, you was in, in, in Bishop Warren School in the first year, in the year seven. You used to have a dad with a six form and he chops to him and stuff like that, and he chased <laughs> it. And I remember mouth into one, when we all split off. Benjamin, you remember Ben? I know, yeah, yeah, ben. Ben, yeah, So yeah. we all go fucking run off like that, and I got the point. I got a bit chubby at him, and I come running so far. So, <laughs> When the six form was grabbing me, as he grabbed me, I just, I thought, oh, fuck, yes, I turned around and go, bang. Oh, that's not how we play for me, not at all. I, I we haven't read the rules, have you? I, I cracked him, I didn't catch him in the chair, but I caught him on the chest, he went yeah. down holding his chest. Needless to say, I was the end of my fucking dabble games. God help me, you're only doing a harmless chase to the first chase. I'm trying to keep you accounting, bro. <laughs> the worst, at first, isn't it? Worst Bobby knocking story. This put me off Bobby knocking for life, right? There was a woman in, who was lived next door to my auntie Margaret, right? Uh, Everyone call her Zola Bud because you knock a door, right? <laughs> and, uh, she ran over no shoes up. Yeah, no, she run just run. She run for miles, like the story goes, apparently. So, me and Jamie Green uh, knocks her house. So, it's in back to Swell Street houses. We knocks her house and runs over the road to Kylie's shop, like, comes up, sees us. We think we're done, like, from down the L. St. Joseph School, Brimelin. Yeah. No way. Gets to the Brimelin, she's at the top of Capistal Street. She's fucking flying now, yeah. genuine, right? <laughs> Uh, she catches me by, I'd say, no convailing way, no the new houses but here, catches me but here, right? And she knows me as my auntie's as nephew, yeah. obviously, like. So she catches me, said, Patrick, what are you doing? I didn't realise it was you. I said, Barbara, let me tell her what have happened. This boy have knocked the door and run away and I give chase to him, right? <laughs> she went, which, day did he, which way did he go? I said, Harvard Park. She chased Jamie Green, right? Through Harvard Park, Brilliant Square. Jamie Green ended up going up. <laughs> Apparently, she's still running. She's still running around yeah, the all about it. Jamie yeah. Green called me all the fats going. All the fuck fat guns going. Because I was like, I was chasing him for him. He's going that way. And it would see him fucking mouth in the gap. You fat cunt. No more. No more being only fools and horses when he chases the burger yeah. and all that. The burger turns yeah, out. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm Honest to God, Barbara's all about. She's still running around one way. It was in the same vein as that, right? Because this came in, and, and I forgot to write it down until late. Jamie Elias said his first name. What happened in Pentrad at school when he told a kid off for swearing, and then his dad, he went and told his dad, and his dad came to see him? He said, Pentrad at school, there was a kid swearing in front of you, kids, and he told him off. And then I can't the kid, remember, that. Can't remember, I remember that. I remember something with a, a kid with a motorbike. Uh, by Pentrad at school, I don't know why he's mm. confused. Um, he, he crashed the bike, the police come over, and they then I was watching, I'm on the grass, and I'm not. Of course, no, yeah. So I can see him, and he was coming up, my boys playing rugby. He's playing school rugby, right, he's yeah, coming yeah. up there. I said, boys, do me a favour, fuck off from me. I said, yeah. I fuck off from me. I said, what do you do? I said, never mind who I am. I said, just fuck off from me. I said, he said, what do you want to do? I said, you see what I do? Oh, no. He said, I, I, get, I go get my own man. I said, go get him, man. <laughs> so I went to the end. I went, that's up the hold on the boy. I, 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 I seen him coming up and I seen the father coming over. And it's the problem we are today, you know. The boy's just pinched the bike and he's bringing his dad there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're walking across, the, walking across the street. Uh, the father looks up at me like that. I, I look down at him. He sort of looks at his boy. He looks up at me. He looks at his boy. He says something to his boy. He clips him on the back. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ask all the shit anyway. No, no, in, no, no. At the end of the day, that's a, that's a problem with it. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. My boy's out the water and someone tells Spot, me. Yeah, I clip yeah. him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're not going to get You won't get him. Oh, dad, this guy, this guy's chops in me. And then I find out he's one mouth and pinch yeah. the bike. I'll clip him. Yeah, I think it's more yeah, obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was younger, someone said, if, someone, if I was playing football, I would say someone's house and someone would say, I'm going to call you, Dad. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they don't care. No, they don't no, care. Spot on, no, spot on there. Martin Simpson, who would you rather break your hand punching repeatedly, James Corden or James Corden? Right, basically, <laughs> right. is there any celebrity you'd like to give a slap? I don't know why, right? And I really do not know why, but I couldn't half fucking smack out Louis Spence. Really? Oh, man, I don't know. Sat I can see you with jazz hands up the box. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And jazz hands, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just something about me. Really? Like, if I could get away with it, yeah. It won't be the eggs I could kill him, but it definitely be a rib tech, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just something about him. Settling down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just uh, fucking settling. I think it's one of them <laughs> things where really being over the top, and I think it goes against oh, all yeah. like over, you know. It's, it's like someone said, you know, uh, someone said something on you, know, homophobia or something like that. I couldn't give a toss. Yeah, I, I could it. not give a toss. I just don't like, it does my head in, you have, you have someone who comes out and they, they're a certain person, 
and then some of them come out, they just t- change all feminine, their voice changes, and mm. you know, yeah, just, that does just, happen. Just, like, just that over, over act it, over camp it. As that, they don't care what colour you are, they don't care what race you are, they don't mm. care what in, <laughs> you like a bit of cock, I don't care, <laughs> I just don't care. But you know, don't, don't put it on people if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it's a strange time, and we talk about it a little bit on the podcast. and it's fucking. Oh mate, you, 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 you're always walking on eggshells with everything. Oh, you know what I mean? Look at the state <coughs> with some women's athletics, women's sports. Ridiculous. Men, men, Ridiculous. Men, men can literally just go. That's right. Nah, I think I'm going to be a woman today. I'm going to be a rugby player as yeah. well. Like. And then, yeah. But then you've yeah. got people who are sticking up for them. And the ones who are, yeah, but the yeah. ones who are sticking up for them are the ones who are not going to compete against them. Yeah, it's because we, wrong. we just turn around today now and, and go, I'm going to go pro boxing as a female. But it was, yeah. it was a boy, he was a rapper from America and he, he decided to turn himself into a woman for a day yeah. and go to the powerlifting championships. He broke the record on his first pub. Really? Just, just to prove a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the kid does happen, doesn't it? You know? Yeah, it's happened quite a bit. Yeah, there, was, yeah. there was one in America, I was thinking, I was... Uh, a boy transitioning to a girl he's only young like high school wrestling mm. but there wasn't a female high school wrestling no, imagine wrong. this kid was just demolishing yeah, everyone yeah. Yeah. and you know, you know it's, I, I don't speak out the turn and stuff like that, which I don't think I am if a kid if a kid three years of age tells you oh I want to be a girl you don't to me you don't fuck, you know chuck him in a dress Start calling yeah, different and start man. taking up the doctors he, he, one in he, surgery. He, yeah. Chill the fuck out. Yeah. 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 If you're gonna be gay, you're gonna be gay. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Day, teenage years, yeah. you know a bit more. My kid don't fuck all three years of age. No, no, and and they're yearning some of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Angelina Jolie, I think she's dressed her boy as a girl or a girl as a boy. Yeah, yeah. they don't identify as a boy or girl. Yeah. Mate, it's common sense. Mate. You've got a monkey, you're a fucking girl. Yeah. If you've got a cock and balls, you're a boy. I I'm it, no I, scientist. My boy, I ain't yeah. building the H bomb in the 50s like a Russian guy with the Nazis pulled over. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <laughs> common sense. My like. boy went to Swansea Uni for school and all that. We had a name, we had date of birth, and then we had gender, male or female, I'd rather not say. What yeah, that's on everything now. What do you mean, yeah, mean you'd rather, rather not say? Is that everywhere now? And that's what I'd rather not say. Yeah. Fucking. That's in a lot of stuff. What the crazy man. Um, this is it early for this one Carl Williams is there going to be one last fight mate I'd be honest right I got uh, I, I signed something to have one last one back in February I lost my brother uh, obviously a bad time for me fucking guy in the back of me with a car yeah. and herniated my desk oh that's what that's oh, from right. yeah, that I've, 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 I've literally been in agony so I bet by bet uh, big shout out to Anthony uh, he's your Anti Tartar, he's your space physio, he's got me to some sort of level yeah. where I'm I'm looking optimistic of making a full recovery because mm-hmm. I've had a, I've had a cortisone injection, didn't touch. Uh, so next step was surgery. Yeah. Uh, but it, it looks like now like he's you know sort of yeah, yeah. sort of big big shout out to Eli Walker <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah big shout out to Eli Walker will probably in touch with Anthony as well. So it's um hundred percent I would love one last one, I would love one last one in Swansea. Uh, just to say thank you for everyone following me. You know, I, I, I am fit. Just before my back went, I was doing a bit of sparring. I won't mention no names, but I was doing a bit of sparring and I was equipping myself more than well. Like, yeah. and, and you would know what move if I said it. Do you find, like I say, you're looking fitter than ever, or you was just before you had that, you know what I mean? Because you have been like struggling with your back and all that. You, you could see that. It must be hard for yourself. My missus suffers with the back. Same fucking reason. The car crash mm-hmm. as well, funny enough. But like, for her to be, she's a fucking, works in the civic centre, doing fuck all. For her to be a professional sportsman, I must have killed her. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Do you mate? It's like, I train a boxing club, then I, I got yeah. some good boys that take the championships. I, I, just, I had to have, thank, big thank you to Luke Jefferson and Tobias Webb, since my brother passed away, mm-hmm. they helped me taking over, taking the boys on the pads. And, they're good on the pads, but no for me to see take someone taking my boys on the pads yeah, when I got all that uh, and going in the corner with them and I was in fucking agony, yeah, yeah, yeah. not being able to go. Even it, just stepping onto the ring is killing me. It was an agony <laughs> putting the gloves on. I had to stand that long and I put the gloves on. I done a show in Liverpool the other week for Sky, and I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I got, yeah, when I got there, I was all right. I was sure before that I got there, I was all right. Uh, but I had two hours of comedy sitting down. So when I was sitting down, my back must have seized up. Yeah. So when I had to do the punditry, so when I was doing the punditry with Anna and uh, and Crawler, I was doing it, my legs started burning. And started, yeah, of course. Yeah. And so it was like right on TV, my body yeah, started yeah. sweating. Yeah, people were tweeting yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got fucking agony. No, I, I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
the camera went off me as the camera went off me. I had to jump and sit down. It was absolutely bollocks. But, but to explain to them, the producers and all that. Oh, they, they, knew, they knew a fair yeah. piece. Anna Wallows, Paul Smith. Paul Let's Smith. give a round of applause to Anna for a minute. Met, Jesus <laughs> Johnson. Oh, okay. Good <laughs> Lord. Paul, Paul, <laughs> Paul Smith as well. He went yeah. to see the doctor. He said, look, Eggs was struggling. The doctor said, look, if you need anything, get yeah, anything. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like, I didn't want to take nothing strong because I'm fucking oh, a, dri- a dribbling <laughs> mess. Exactly. <laughs> like, Everyone's on Twitter saying Eggs was much stronger as fuck. So, but no, it, it, was, yeah. it was hard work, mate. Yeah. But it's, it's, you know, it's not great yet, but it's slowly. I've started boxing again. Uh, I'm only doing 10 rounds, 10 twos, right? We'll be doing 10 threes. Yeah. But 10 twos now has been a bit more, I've put a bit more power in. So everything's looking a bit more optimistic. So uh, with a bit of like, I'm I, I 40 next year, so I'd rather have it yeah, before I'm 40. Yeah. Get out so of the way. Because I've got, got a thriving gym. My boy plays rugby, football. He wants to put his boxing as well. Mm. Um, so... No, I just want to get, I don't want to train the boys and not give them 100, I don't want to give them 70, yeah, I want to give them yeah. 100, like, so there's some good kids out Only because you mentioned, only when I lost all it, but they were like, after everything that happened, you cared, it must have been it, it, crazy it, time. It, it, right, you know? mate, it was just, it was just a, mad, a mad year, obviously the back, um, I had a young, my young protege, William Hughes. Mate, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which we'll talk about later. That's a bad room with me, uh, uh, then my brother, my sister phoned me, said, oh, this was my other. Um, she told me he went to the hospital and uh, you know he was having hope and but I think deep down he knew he think he went out with the oxygen for yeah. so long and uh, if I can wreck me like absolutely wreck me was, uh, you know he was very close to my brother I believe and that's I, what I, bring I, I will be brother. I will be honest I I wouldn't achieve what I did my brother I remember working on the door sending yeah. in Zanzibar um, I had a fight first night and banged up two boys one at me with a bottle so I, I cracked and he found out I think he, he warned whoever was on the door who said door don't let Angel work out again or I'll yeah. come and see you. Um, he phoned me up he said look why are you working on the door he said I just need money for insurance my car every week he paid me my money my insurance my yeah. car he take me everywhere so I owe him a lot I think what people who might not have known his brother might not think he's not one of these boys who's clicking on the coattails of his kid who kid was a character his oh, own man, like, he, he, he probably knew as many people as himself yeah, probably like, more, like, yeah you know what I mean he's not one of these brothers who are fucking oh, man, like the Ahmeds who's clicking yeah, on the corners I think he's you know, kid was I think he's such a well respected yeah, guy like, I, you know, I think everyone knew he could have a scrap and stuff like that but he was a gentleman a genuine guy like and um, no it's hard mate and yeah, yeah of course first, first few weeks up at the gym like so in someone asked me this like I just said it's hard like yeah. I said hey, good boys are good like we've had a great season uh, it's just something missing if you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it may take a little while oh, yeah it will mate. do you know what thank fuck you've got the gym man you can't even know any more man oh man I would never do it what we spent the last time when I was delivering that pony mine and I, I think I usually take a little photo because I love the you could just have box it bony mine boxing gym up here but underneath if anyone noticed you'll see the tribute to the old man with the yeah. fucking cross yeah. you know the tribute like founded by yeah, yeah. Mario Matronelli and every time we look past we think we're, 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 we're going to change that now we're going to change the Pavalo on it as well amazing well that's bench, brilliant maybe put a bench up is it, you know, we've got a bony mine one of the toughest places about no one person will touch our gym. No, you could leave anything else at gym. Yeah, no one. Yeah. No way. No yeah. So no. Um, yeah, it, it's it's been hard. Like it's been hard. You know, fucking. <laughs> he suffered a bad back all his life. Mm. So I I I want to tell people like I, I like he's give it to me. And then <laughs> <laughs> and when, and when, yeah, I, say, yeah, when yeah. I say that, people laugh. But then when the boy tell the people who fucking knew him, they're like, oh, maybe yeah. he did. And then joke around and you have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's giving him something to think about yeah, every time, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, no, it, it's, it's been hard, like, and um, it's a big part of my life, not just boxing, mm. and just in life in general. Like, like no, get off his Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like it. No, it's no way. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just a, just a yeah. bad year. No, no, no. Big boxing fan, John Bailey. Would your dad be more proud of your world championship win or you taking over the gym and producing future amateur? And That's a great yeah. question. A bit of both, mate, because I, I helped him. Fuck, I remember matching a show for my dad when I was 14. No I've, way. I've always been involved. I think if you watch my fight, I boxed. I boxed because I loved to box. There was no other reason. I didn't care about money, didn't care about fame. I just loved boxing. When people say to me, oh, you're so grounded, don't worry. Yeah. I done it because I loved it. End of story. I remember I boxed. In Russia, the European title, and knocked the guy out first round. Yeah. And I'm on a phone in the middle of the ring, and I was speaking to my dad. I was only speaking to my dad one time. I went to a dodgy fucking stream, 
and one of them trying to find out how man or Lee got off in the right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I've always yeah. been, you know, I get so much buzz. You know, I, I put something on Twitter the other day about boxing saves more lives than it takes. Of course and, it does. Yeah. You know, yeah, people I don't realise unless yeah. you see unless you see at the grassroots level mm. where I've seen kids with the pressure and I've seen kids who rob cars, drug yeah. addicts. You know, I, I know boys who don't box anymore, but it changed their life around. Mm. And you know, it saves a lot more than it does. Yeah. So I think proud uh, bit of both to be honest. I, I know he's a proud world champion because it's the only time I see him fucking smile and say, <laughs> and say, something, good, and shit, and say something good to me. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. normally it was like, I remember my second fight, I boxed Mark Williams. I went to punch my first fight, fucking tamp then. I used to knock everyone yeah. So Bell goes, first guy comes out, I smash his fucking event 35 seconds, I've knocked him out. Mm. First thing I've done, I've looked at my dad, yeah. My dad just went like, ah. Drop your hands. <laughs> <laughs> but then fair play, he had a he had an estate car, yeah. and we all went to a town after the week. So we were in the car, he had about eight of us in the back of the estate, and put us in the we go all the top each other. Never had like yeah. to have. Kids will never know. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is from Rocky. Is it true or urban myth that he well the teacher hostage on your last day at Bishop Home School? <laughs> <laughs> no, can, no. can you even say that? Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was um, it, it was some, it wasn't the wrong end. Like you were fucking nasty to me and stuff like that. I just I just had a, I just had a tip full. I blocked him in a room. I can't even think who he was. Um, I think he was a substitute to Jake Big Boy, right? And I I, I basically I just kept him in our room. I stood by the door. I didn't in yeah. hostage. I, yeah, I, I stood yeah, by yeah. the door. I said, "You have to get past me." And I literally just went to the scrap it. He <laughs> fucking bullied me all over. And I thought to myself, "Fuck it, come on, then let's, let's have a go." But the teachers at Bishop Home School were great. I got a few people out of trouble. I got Mister Jenkins out of trouble once. Right, he yeah. yeah. Grip the grip the kid. Uh, right, okay. I wouldn't tell the kid, but he, yeah. like, he gripped the kid. Um, He's, the kid said something about his wife, so he gripped him and he was in detention at the right, time. Yeah. And then he obviously he's fucking lost his head, yeah. He lost his head, gripped him. So I got called in front, he got called in front, the boy got called in front of the board. And uh, they said, What happened? I said, well, I didn't see nothing. Yeah. One, I like Mr. Jenkins, and I couldn't fucking stand the other one. Yeah, so that's fair enough. I never yeah. yeah. get him in no, check. Oh, he's, yeah. out of, he's out of order anyway. Yeah, fuck yeah. 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 It was um, Bishop Hall, best years of my life, mine, Bishop Hall. My daughter fucking hates school. Mate, it's, all, it's all different now, won't it? You're probably right. It's, it's yeah, all different. It is, yeah. I went up, I went up Bishop not so long ago, and Mr. Davis, the uh, new PE teacher, like, I was doing a, a fitness session, and one of the kids came in and said, Sir, I forgot my kit. He went, Oh, sit down. I said, Sit down. I said, I've got done in my pants. Yeah. He said, You can't do nothing else. He said, You can't shout at him, you no. can't do nothing. We used to call it sweaty bin, normal sweaty bin. Yeah. No, no. Oh, I mean, we've got a PK. Yeah, Norman so Williams. Bit. Norman Williams was a fucking. Oh my. Norman Williams had me. Tip real, bro. Tip real. Fucking tip real. Fucking cold blood. He read me like a book. Like, no, one day I fucking said, oh, yeah, done my ankle in. I can't do pee. Like, don't know why. He was love pee. Well, it must be doing cricket or something. Shit. Yeah. He locked at me, right? And he's just gone, yeah, no bother. Uh, go and see the nurse. Like, I'm like, oh, no, this is what I expected. Sent me up the hospital, four hour x ray. My mother come home from school, come home from work. Oh, see, no, nothing wrong with her. Yeah, right? yeah, Normal yeah. Williams, right? No worries, no worries, son. Go and see the nurse, oh. is it? I went, oh, fuck. So you can't go to the nurse and say I'm miraculously killed when I said I fell on my ankle. It's fucked. Yeah. She went, oh, no worries. We're sending you straight up the hospital. Like, that bitch, for fucking five hours. Oh, no and then, that's what be in, um, like kidnapping teacher. There's a guy called Pickle. Mr. Reese's name was, yeah. like, fully tidy guy, fucking, you know, bad at the time. But he got locked in a cupboard, I'll never forget it. Like, because he would chuck, he would chuck, um, dusters. It wasn't yeah, whiteboards, yeah. it was blackboards, big yeah. blackboards would fall down and all that. And he'd have a duster, like, you know, and it was like the fuck, like, heavy as a candle. And he'd throw it anywhere, yeah. like, and he was I, like fucking Charlie Sheen in Major League. He was fucking deadly, <laughs> wouldn't he? You know, he's like, fucking, classic film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, man, I do appreciate that. Thing, <laughs> <I> <laughs> He was like Jose Canseca, right? He'd chuck it like fucking from six yards. He'd fucking knock him up. So everyone locked him in the fucking cupboard and just left him here for an hour. He was here like fucking three hours. No, because no one knew it. Yeah. Fucking Bishop Owen. Great, great times. Mate, and he, I'll never get one of my like, couple of times I got in trouble. You used to bully me in Bishop Owen, right? Fuck. I've never bullied anyone. Listen, if I'm bullying anyone, they got to be three foot to eight <laughs> tall, right? <laughs> Ross I ain't again. fucking bullying the fucking world champion boxer, right? I'm going to watch him 
fight down at the fights in the leisure centre. I ain't gonna nick his dinner money on a Monday end, am I? If anything, I gotta gotta give it my dead sheets. <laughs> <laughs> give it my dinner tickets <laughs> and the set. Brilliant. Yeah, twice I nearly got kicked out of school. Um, once. Uh, me and Christian George robbed Holy Communion and uh, it's only fucking little bits of plastic really puts in the mouth lump in fact it's where we robbed the soul of Christ they were fucking <laughs> mad on they were fucking mad no, bag of fucking Holy Communion we just done it done it for a laugh done them all in one go fucking hell Mr. Perry dead the heads who's gone well and all that literally wanted to kick us out and send us to fucking send us to Boston to be fingered by them priests in spotlight <laughs> right who you really got kicked out? Huh? Who you really got kicked out? Ooh, Mr. Paddy. No way. We done a, we, we'd finished. Right, we finished. We'd done a, we done a assembly. Mm-hmm. It was normal assembly. I fucking, he started talking, and he started talking about wanking and everything. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Dear God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he thought he leaves himself and stuff like that. Right, yeah. yeah he, got, he got kicked out of fucking school, didn't he? Jesus, fuck. Check his ad, right? Yeah, I don't feel fucking so bad. Uh, I'm not in the old community. Better check the facts yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a fucking lawsuit going around. Yeah. Tell him. Allegedly, <laughs> like, okay, uh, I'm going to say wanking, masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the other one was... Oh, 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 oh fucking hell. And the other one was... Check that yeah, still on, is it? Hang on. Yeah, it's still on. So the other one was, um, I feel guilty about this because it was a guy called Mr. Brown. He was a great oh, guy. Oh, mate. Brilliant. Great. Mate, well, team. Him, sees him all the time. And uh, great fella. Like, he was in his, um, in his, his tutorial. Like, so he was the guy who go up every morning. Like, and he had uh, exam papers. Yeah, I was fourth year. He had exam papers for the second year. And he was just lying around. Right? So me, Martin Taylor, Sean Cusack, grabs up. Right? So we got... The, the second year exam paper for the year, maths exam, right? Uh, so we said, oh, fuck, this is great. Like, you know, we'll fucking photocopy this. We'll sell it for two pound fifty to everyone in, everyone. It might have been Enzo's year, yeah. right? Entrepreneur. I had one. I fucking, I fucking failed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Martin Taylor took it home. He didn't just photocopy the exam paper. He'd worked out the answers oh, yeah. and done them in pocket sized sheets. So, and done the 40 questions, all the answers, like straight away. It's gone up to £3.50 now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, we sell them to all Enzo's here, Chris Grenville and all them. Everyone was buying them, so it's £3.50. So, all of a sudden, then we get, um, I guess, pulled out the lessons, right? Now, I don't know what made me do it, but I had these in my bag. And I walked past the bin and I grabbed all the things that I had and chucked them in a the bin, right? Don't make, ask me why I did it. Pulled me in with a maths teacher and heads a year and all that. Went through my bag, went through my tennis racket, couldn't find these exam papers, right? Someone had grasped this up, right? Someone who was obviously clever as fuck, not Enzo, yeah. right? Cheers, so, bad. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had bubbled us, right? So it went off a day, they kept us after school, didn't give us dinner. Um, Goes home, my old man says, did you do it? No, fuck, I didn't fucking do it. Always deny everything, like they had us in the school then. So they would have like a meeting with my mum and father. They pulled me in. My old man walked me to the fucking, walk, come to the car, got me, walked back in. He said, all I'm going to ask you is one question. He said, all I want is the truth of you before we close in here. Did he rob these fucking exam papers? Fucking hell. What they say? Like, looked him in the eye. Went, no, no. wasn't in that. <laughs> fucking, what do you think? I'm stupid. So like, the teacher said to me, we know you did it. We know who did it. We're going to pull someone in. So he pulled this guy in who grasped us up. And like, he looked me in the eye and he looked and he looked at the teacher and he went, Paddy didn't do it, sir. Right? <laughs> My old man was like, ah, you had him under questioning. <laughs> Sean Cusack. Sean Cusack's mother was a single mother. She folded under questioning straight away. She, she was like, en- Sean was like Henry Hill from Goodfellas. <laughs> <laughs> he was straight away, he fucking, he gave everything up straight away. Mate, oh, yeah. how we didn't get fucking expelled or suspended, I'll never know. My man still don't know to this day. Thank fuck he don't listen to this. He <laughs> kept me up the well. Well, honestly. Right, Jez a screen, Enzo. Imagine you were swimming naked, a gay man jumps on your back, also naked. Will you leave him up there or toss him off? <laughs> oh, I toss him back off. <laughs> <laughs> move on quickly yeah, now, yeah, because yeah. I really like this question, because I remember. <laughs> I'm fucking glad he's <laughs> I, If I mispronounce anyone's name, you'll have to just fucking live with it. Stu Atlan. You get to make the ultimate fighter, Frankenstein style. Which What from which fighters would you take? So basically, you know what I mean? Oh, right, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Boxing. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with boxing. Jab, Larry Holmes. 
Nice. Right. Ed movement, Tyson. Defense, employed. Hand speed, Roy Jones. Chin, Ray Mercer. Punch power, George Foreman. Nice. Yeah. I tell nice. you what came up on Twitter yesterday was George Foreman's punch slowed down against Michael Mora. Oh, oh, the one he dropped him with, yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. It was already slow. slow, slow, slow. No, that's <laughs> what, what, what the person on Twitter was saying was um, never underestimate our punch locks like because it could look slow yeah. and lethargic. Oh, solid shot. But, yeah, solid shot. Yeah, you know, he was world, you know, world champion, wasn't he? You know solid I mean? shot. Crazy. How old was he, 40 or 50? He's 40, 42, I think. Yeah. But it is funny how the game had changed now where at the time he was 42 and everyone went, fucking hell, he's ain't Yeah. Whereas now we think, 42, fuck up. Yeah. Mm, you know? yeah. Probably still a bit past it though, but... but no, there, there, yeah. that was a big deal. Yeah, 40s. Yeah, 40s. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. no yeah. he was out for a long time as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. Back as well. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. He, bought, he boxed Ali and then he had a fight after Ali. I, I, I think, did he lose that as well? And then he just had... Completely, I think he's seen the light. He did, yeah, he's found God. Uh, and then come back, yeah. had a couple of fights, box yeah. all the field box. And then uh, made real money. And then well, did it. Michael Moore. Yeah, he, um... And Michael Moore was a good fighter as well. Brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah brilliant. Yeah. But the yeah. 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 girl. You know what? what? The the four one girl. Well, well, dope, the story it? behind that goes, do you know the story behind that? They went to Al Organ first. Right, and he fucked it off. The Organ Grill. Right. Right? And he fucked it off an Uber or something, put his name to an Uber. So he's like, oh, you hot, I mean, yeah, she's going to be there with Henry the Hoover. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, whenever he gives a document, you know, Hogan was like really bitter about it, saying, fucking right, he was like, the Hogan grill. That Hogan grill was my hot, I mean, yeah, you know, fucking. And then he ended up with George Foreman. I never like Hogan, I never Fuck off. Uh, Ronnie Jones, uh, would, it be, would it be up for walking in for one more fight with Paddy singing his favourite team theme, TV theme tunes? When you do your ring walk, yeah, yeah imagine that. Maybe they say, I will be on the Normally, yes, but nothing beats one back. Of course, it, no, that's iconic. Like like everyone knows yeah, the yeah, song yeah. as well. Even when other boxers come on, right? everyone goes, like, Yeah, Enzo yeah. McRonelli's too. Yeah. Even the yeah. commentators will say, Didn't Chris Weidman come in? No, it's something wrong with that. It's on for a video of me, put the song, and some guy said, Oh, it's Chris Weidman's song. No, no. You cheeky. Is it fucking real? Yeah, yeah. I said, I had well before him. Like, How did that start? I watched uh, a boy lend me a Hollyfield DVD. I was just a massive fan of boxing. I watched it every day, and I had a Hollyfield um, career. And Sky Sports done a segment with Hollyfield uh, training. And he had the song, and I was listening to the words and I'm thinking, fuck, ask me. Yeah. I'm not scared of nothing. I'll fucking go through anything. Yeah, yeah. I think. I love it. My downfall is just like, I was just never scared of that. Yeah. Never was. And, you know, it's uh, nothing, nothing, nothing makes me feel odd. The only thing I was ever feared of was my dad. Mm. Now he's got older, you feel about the welfare of kids. It's yeah, yeah, of course. Apart from that, fighting wise, nothing yeah, fucking really bothers me just like that. Now I went to Russia twice, like, it didn't bother me just like that. Bothered me after one of them, like, we're fucking. <laughs> we don't know that first time. Uh, Joey Yates, or you like this one, if you could pick one celebrity, <coughs> non wrestler, to be a tag team partner in a Hell and Cell match, who would you pick and what would your finisher be? Do you have to pick a celebrity who, who's a bit hard? Who do, who's celebrity? Are we talking celebrity? Are we talking actors? Anyone. Anyone who's not a wrestler. Yeah, it's bad. It's the most alone 70. You can't get up on the Hell and Cell. Yeah, I'll do all that. I'll like, finish up. Fuck it up. Texas tornado, you yeah. <laughs> had the core. Yeah, yeah, I love my yeah, yeah. You had the core, yeah. little spin round in the yoke. I just have a fucking stack yeah. in left hook. It's going yeah. in your left hook. <laughs> Is it boy into wrestling? Cause I really love no, that. you remember. No way. To be honest, I, I, I watched it later on, but as soon as Austin and a rock went, it was yeah. really fucking funny. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like shit. It, no, I watched kids watching wrestling. I was like, oh, it's fucking good. I flick it on crap all the time. It's, it's not really, the same. Not we, we came at the right era. Warrior. We the right era. Warrior. Warrior. Warrior fan. Then I went to Austin. Yeah. But then you had Austin. You had, what, you had uh, the rock, like Kurt yeah, Angle, yeah, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, you know, fucking... Or, or a bit, or a little something about them. Now we've got fucking CM Punk. Like. Nah, I still haven't anymore. seen um, Ric Flair documentary. Man. Brilliant. I, I just uh, just done all the 30 for 30 when he was on the other night. Oh, he's yeah. a wild man. You're not going to believe this. I was in a party um, Saturday. He was at Swansea Bay Golf Club. Woman, the image of Andre the Giant. Honestly. Fuck. Woman! <laughs> image. Absolutely. I said to Donna, she pissed herself laughing. Honest to God. Swansea Bay Golf Club. She walked like him and everything. She didn't drink 19 bottles of wine, mind you, one set in, but stuff. That's a good talk, that is. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I loved it. Dark, I Absolutely loved it. Yeah. 
Right, Andrew Granger. You know Betty from Bunny Mimes? Yeah, 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 of course you are. Right. Apart from Enzo, who was the best boxer that has gone through the gym under you or your dad? I will be honest, right? The best boxer, I, I have to say, it's Tobias, right? He's the most talented kid I've ever seen. Mm. And I, I swear, and it eats me up knowing what he could have done. But he's the laziest fucker I've ever met. Do you think he took the Smith fight too early? No, oh, not at all. No, no, not at all. He didn't train for that. And you know, yeah. if you think there was one fight he trained for, yeah. it was that. He just wouldn't train. I, I, I won't mention I've seen him sparring, but he'd been sent on loads of times because he, he took really? it. He took yeah, it. Yeah, he went yeah. over to Germany. He went, he sparred, I, I, I don't like saying this, but he went over and sparred a two time Olympic gold medalist. Mm-hmm. He got battered the first day because he was traveling. I, I said, tomorrow, I said, give it to him. So he sent me, he said the next day, and he said, oh, they're sending me home. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, he said, oh, they said it's too good. I, I took out with a pinch of salt. But about two weeks later, I see Eamon McGee. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And the, the, the language on it was fucking brilliant. I went through the accent. He said, Enzo, he said, that, that black fucker even heavy. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, he smashed. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, they had to send him on. But that was always his thing. He was yeah. so good. And then when I think, I look what I've had and what I've done. Half a talent of that, boy. Do you think so? Oh, mate, he's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Just lazy. I'd say I'm lazy. I'd say I'm lazy, isn't that right? I was training, I was doing a bit of training with him, and I was checking up now. I said, do you run this morning? Yeah. So where do you run it? So when my mother took the car to work, he said, I'd run, this, run to get the car. I thought, oh, fucking fair play. I said, wait there now. Your mother works fucking one mile downhill. Right. <laughs> so I was just running. Yeah. Yeah, it was fast though. <laughs> Mate, yeah, you know, <laughs> what my brother used to say about him, Tobias, you never fucking overtrain. No, I oh, we used to go, we went out Bolton training and used to do like 15 sprints. He'd come first in the first one and he would smash us. Hmm. He'd come last in the next 13 <laughs> and he'd win the last one. Unbelievable. Mate, he's fucking, uh, he, was train, he was a train there, he was a girl doing a bit of sports conditioning and stuff like that. You know, she used to fucking, she was fit like, and she used to beat him and everything. And he didn't care. I'd be fucking Tapping, raging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be absolutely raging. I said, do you have with you? I don't care. Yeah. Oh, I was driving me nuts. But he, he started back at the gym and he's been helping me train the boys and fucking big credit to him. And I just want to be back involved. Yeah, I, should imagine, I, I think he might want one more. Really? Yeah, another one? He'd done a bit of sparring the other night and uh, the pro, uh, he, um, he um, punched him back for a couple of years and yeah. fucking... <laughs> more than equipped himself well like, yeah, so, yeah. you know I'd like to him have a couple and he said would you train me and I, I'd get my pro licence for him yeah, yeah. Um, it was a couple of others who asked me and I, I said yeah but I said you've got to show me commitment um, was that the next step yeah I'm going to send you back I don't know it's just I, I love my boys in the gym yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely love my amateur boys and stuff like that and I got a connection with them all and we have we have a strong gym and mm. in it's That's his fault as a new night, Christmas yeah. night, tell oh, like, anything. Mate, it's but yeah, it's I, people think I rule the Lion Fest, I don't. Mm. And the funny thing is, they all slag each other off left, right, and centre. Right. It's pure, it's pure banter in there. Yeah. And we had a boy fighting the other week down the Dockers, and he came from another gym, he's joined us, and there's about 20 of the boys come to watch him and make sure the boys come and watch. Yeah, yeah. And there's two of them, they were calling each other with a dog on neck. Mm. And there's people looking at him and they think, my teammates said, yeah, yeah. I just said that. You know, how fucking my teeth boys love each other. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's a bump. It's a it's a, bump, it's, a, it's, a bump, it's a bump syndrome. Yeah. It's a. And let me be honest, a banda, there's fucking racism going on. It's <laughs> slagging off. It's everything, right? Proper old school. If one of them couldn't take it, it won that one. Yeah, yeah. But they all take it, mm. and, and they all give it, and it's, mm. it's great to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I have kids out. Uh, depression and stuff like that, they just feel like they fit in now. Yeah, yeah. So change their lives, they're not treated, they're not treated, they're not treated, they're no different at all. Yeah. Like, and it, it's great to see them. Right, this is from the Wayne Routledge Appreciation Society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever taken a shit where you weren't supposed to? Possibly, mate, I think uh, I will tell you. Um, <clears throat> come level park, come level round up, remember, yeah, yeah, remember yeah. the old church? Yeah, got to go, got to go. About an hour later, I pissed out my head, about 15, about an hour later, I went for a piss, so pissed I fell back and pissed on myself. 
So like you're laughing going where shit. Yeah, yeah. You went to the lift chair something video on the day, didn't you? Some guy taking a shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's brilliant. Brilliant. He, told, he told me, he said, like, I've had to turn my phone off since we've been yeah, Everyone's got a lot of Where was it? I was trying to work it out. I couldn't work it out. Since it's what? It's what? They had a bit of accent, the boys did, didn't they? So I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Darryl Paddy. Uh, what? Oh, hang on, it's quite, it, 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 you would have been up Only Fools and Horses fans, oh. obviously, so this is one for you. What are your favourite feature length and standard length episodes of Only Fools and Horses? His are Jolly Boys Out Then Unbelievable. as a feature and Friday the 14th as a standard. Uh, to be honest, mate, I don't know. I, I think there's a couple of them that stand out. I like uh, Mother's Nature's, Nature's Son. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you the nature of any of them. Uh, heroes and Villains, Back and Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing about that was he'd had a few years off, innit? And they built it up as this big Christmas Day special, and they always think oh, it's not going to be good. Yeah. And Addy Man, knows and Bill, it's, it's probably one of the funny. I watched it up the Breens, right? Christmas Day, mm. and it was one of the funniest hours. Oh, it was really good, I think. Batman and Robin. Yeah. I the, bra- it, the bracelet. The funeral. The funeral. The funeral. The broom. The broom. I feel like an idiot as well. It comes to the show. The bouncy. Oh, come as a joke. Uh, the broom, yeah. yeah. When you say look after you, broom, yeah. the broom will look after you. Yeah. Oh, no, no, look after you, broom. I gotta say, look after you, broom. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So, I've only had that. I've been the broom for 20 years. I've only had 10 years. I've been the 16 broom. That is Heroes and Villains of Cracker. Um, Twelve uh, and Back is a classic. Yeah. Jolly Boy Jump is a Jolly classic. Jolly Boy Jump is a classic. As a stand out on his own episode, oh, it's probably uh, a kid, <laughs> Albert uh, Knock Knock. Knock, knock, knock him out. I mean, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chandelier, the corner. Yeah. Trot, trot and the trembler. Like, the left trot and the trembler. <laughs> Chandelier is oh. a classic. Another classic is the, the Seance. The oh, Seance. The Seance. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, incredible. What, what's she doing? I can check. She's going. <laughs> <laughs> I see gold chains. Fucking Jimmy Sapple. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Was it all brilliant? Know? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I am here. Brilliant. <laughs> right, this is from one of your fans on uh, on Twitter, Bar Star D, as we call. If you could only choose one, what would it be? A, rapping with Ice Cube on a hip hop track. B, appearing for a few seconds in the next Rocky slash Creed movie. C, have a rematch with a previous opponent. Or D, unretiring and becoming world champion again. Oh, if I had to be unretiring, yeah, I think so. That's the if one. If it was an extra with all fools and horses or Sopranos, yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what's it? Uh, have you seen anything on the new Sopranos film? No, nothing. I don't know. I don't know. From the I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's another it, thing. It was, yeah. It was, man, you see, you know. There's a couple of things up there. The Irishman, the Breaking Bad film. Yeah, yeah, the new Terminator. Is there a new Terminator film? Yeah. They all really like the Santa Claus and a lot. Enzo's 100% in the picture. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I definitely do a rap. I do yeah. the same. We'll have a, we'll have a night out. Everyone want to come down, party, yeah. and you two will come as well. Maybe a good laugh. They'll be putting the prices up for that. Yeah. 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 It's not five yeah. of the fucking gold. Yeah. 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 We could fill a, fill a fucking cinema out, give money to charity. Easy. I think it'll be, um, be a good laugh. I like the, the films are natural. Boss Booty. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a bit of two boots back. Get the pizza boys as well. Oh, right then. Try it up. Good. Mate, I had a freebie the other day. I knew you had a fucking new had a freebie. As soon as it was all over to an iron, he fucking loves it. Oh, I did go to the buy. I did go to the buy. Yeah. And, he oh. says, and he didn't ask me for nothing. I said, we'll have a photo then, boys. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right. Mate, stand in. I heard you had a bollocks in all fairness. Like. Right, die on again. Oh, fuck's sake. Go on someone else, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Who is the worst? Dale. Just on a negative. Right? Right, he, may get, he may win all these, mate. Who is the worst pundit, coach, and promoter you've ever met? Or, you know. It's hard for them, though, because you're fucking Yeah, you can't be like slamming yeah, yeah. off. Like. To be honest, I, I haven't met anyone bad. You know, I, I could say who I think is the worst pundit, and I mm. could say who I think is the worst boxer, and I could say who's the worst trainer. Yeah. Like, no, no, to be honest, most of the people I've met have been all right. Yeah, I agree. It's others I've seen that. I see another boat that I fucking can't stand them, but mm. it's 
people I've actually worked with. You so know, it was pundits yeah. so like, like Jim Watt always had a lot of shit. Yeah, shit me, he Jim like Watt was like the fucking voice of Watt. Yeah, voice of like skyboxing. Yeah, yeah. Think of the nights we go up to his house to yeah. watch the big fucking four o'clock in the morning fights. It was Jim Watt. Jim Watt yeah. Yeah. And you're dark, is it? You know, that's yeah. what I remember. Like yeah. now, like obviously... Adam Smith tends to crowbar himself in with the big band, ones, yeah. which we all were doing. Yeah, it. He's like one of the most. He's probably not influ- as influential as Eddie Hearn, but the two most influential men in British boxing, I think, are Eddie yeah. Hearn and, and Adam Smith. And Adam Smith, like by a mile, you know what I mean. So he's always got to crowbar himself in a few places, isn't he? Right, well, he? Chris Jones, how close was the Clare fight to be made at Liberty? Don't think it was ever close. Um, I, I know. Um, <laughs> They had an offer once. Um, he said no, but I know Francis Warren told me they had an offer. I think they had an offer twice. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm talking years ago now. Um, no, uh, I think um, I think a plan was if he'd be caught I might be. I think it was it was me and him. Uh, but he, he had an offer after that. I think he had an offer before that. Well, I think before was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. after that, and you know it would have been nice. And you know, I, it's a great fight, man. I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. uh, I say I don't like the boy. I think there's other people around him have caused a bit of shit between us. Um, I'm as straight as they come. Mm. He wouldn't. He, he, you know, he, he says stuff behind my back that he wouldn't say to my face. Mm. I'm not. I'm the other way around. But I think there's other people around there that's caused caused a lot of shit between us. Um, it's like certain people close to him, family. I can't fucking stand. Mm. And. Uh, it would have been great for Wales. Amazing. I think it fills a liberty. I think it was well as a well. I think it fills it. I think it fills a liberty before it fell out Cardi. I think it's what I think it's right, what, mean, what you're saying is we would all come up and support yeah, it. I, I, yeah, think, yeah. I, I think I'd have a, a better fan base because yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I, when I look at my life and you look at the rivalry between the football. Yeah, yeah. When I box in Cardiff, I have the Cardiff fans shouting you, Jack Bastard. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's amazing. It's just a yeah. different mentality of boxing and the football. Like, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, that would have been, it would have been And then I say, it, let's have it right as well. It would have been a good, good fight, fight as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it would have been a good fucking fight. Like, you know what I mean? Who knows? I don't know. Would you prefer sure. did a cruiser or like heavy? Mate, to be honest, right, it's. I, I box all my life for a cruiser. I'm on a world type of cruiser. I, I can't complain. I've got mm. no lock on my weights and stuff like that. I, I was away 37, 38. I'm fighting boys 14, 4. We're on fighting anymore, about 15 stone. So giving away all that weight all the time. But at the time, I didn't know fuck all about diet. It was just, I was, and what I, what I found when I went up as cruiser, when I was up against cruisers, they were strong as fuck. They were hard. I was giving away me a stone and a half, two stone. But I had the speed advantage over that. I physically very, very strong. When I went down to like dead weight, I was well stronger, harder than anyone. But I lost my, speed. My, my speed advantage yeah, won yeah. so much. So it was like swings around, but I, I won what I won, so I can't, I can't complain. No, of course. Like back in it. I think you're very lucky in that. There's a lot of people say what might have been in it. Whereas with yourself, as you should, we got them all over there on the fucking chair, like you are. You did everything like I, I don't want to be or I, I, I don't believe, be. Oh, I, won't, I won't fucking bore everyone and shit like this but you know loads of things in my career and like life that I've done totally wrong mm. and I look back myself and I think if I'd done things right maybe I could have won more do you not think it was just before the time of strength yes, and conditioning and stuff yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You, was, you were just on the edge of like what I would call old school and just at the beginning of like no I, I think the sciences. biggest thing the biggest thing affected me was the weight because Cruise weight limit was 13.8. Mm. I used to weigh with 13.7. So right. I was fine. Mm. Then it jumped from 13.8 up to 14 stone 4. So that big that, jump. That, yeah, yeah. Me. Boys are There's a couple of fights I lost where I tried to get up in weight by lifting a lot of weights and stuff like that. And I was too muscle bound. Mm. And it just didn't suit me. Mm. So that's, that was probably the biggest thing for me. Yeah. I think I asked one of my own questions now. Fuck it. Go on, uh, what three TV movie characters would you pick to go stand alongside you in a barroom brawl? TV or TV or movie characters. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would use a slow one. Can I give you my three? Go on. Then. Dalton from Roadhouse. Oh, yeah, I, haven't Roadhouse. Seen, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen what? Yeah. What the I, fuck I is going food, on here? I tried to do a few things. What? Yeah. It's, 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 it's basically. What you gang? What is this? Don't gang up with me. Yeah. Don't gang up with me. Yeah. 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 This is going to be my surprise, yeah. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a bigger shock since Cleverly turned it up. Jake and Russ. 
Oh, Once oh, the Warriors. I like that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Tall Luke Speedberg said it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking brilliant. How does that? Beg me, drain spotted. Yeah. yeah, character. Yeah, I'd fucking take it. He ain't in those cup of tea. He's chucking yeah. glasses over the place. Yeah, that's what I mean. Barroom brawl, there's no rules in that. Jake the Mass. Jake the Mass. I got Jake the Mass, isn't it? I definitely have Jake the Mass. Fuck, I don't know, mate. I mean, you've got comedy, you haven't seen Roadhouse. Mate, that's the biggest shock in the night. That is it. It's Jeff, someone's on going into like. So I, I might, I might give it a go. Mate, it's got him written all over it. What is this? He's scrapping and Patrick Swayze. Yeah, yeah fucking banging a bomb fuck. girl up against the yeah. wall. Fucking hell, brilliant. I tried to do a dollar and he pop my back up. I've got Jacob Mass. Oh, I got to have Seagal out, out the fucking out for justice. Because that, that fucking never gets it. No, no, he's never gets it. He all his yeah. films. He's yeah. got yeah. that Pernell with the defence, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He just never gets fucking it, does he? All his films, I haven't seen him in the fucking net. Mm. Well, sicker. Gonna be chatting on us, isn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, of course, he is. Yeah, he's on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyone see that video of uh, Seagal in like a karate tournament the other day? No, um, but well, now recently, like, oh, two months ago because he's fucking huge, yeah. don't he? Yeah, he's massive. But apparently, he was the real deal, really. This kid, he was like a genuine, like, fucking martial like artist, like, he was, like, he was, yeah. Well, um, this video of him in like a leisure center, and he's in the full, like, you know, gear and God, all that, yeah. and um. They come in for him, but he's like touching them with his finger. Oh, they jump in the fucking, you know, it's no old Valley karate championship. Right. Let's put it that way. Old Valley. He's not showing off Cobra yeah, Kai. Yeah, so. like, yeah, he's not Teddy Silver, right? Oh, but they, <laughs> they didn't know, right? They didn't know. He only found out the other day in Karate Kid Three. Yeah. Teddy Silver was the same age as Daniel Russo. Shut the fuck up. God, no the way. Of course and now, and now, now the Cobra Kai now. Right, I was just about to ask you. Have you seen that? Fucking brilliant. Shut I haven't up. Seen really? any of it. As as I always saw. I don't care. Everyone who watches As I always saw, Daniel Russo is a cunt. Because <laughs> he's all sorts of switched yeah. around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny Lawrence all day. No way. But in Cobra Kai, Daniel Russo is the same age as what my Aggie was in the first one. Really? Fuck yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, get on the Cobra Kai. It's fucking brilliant. Everyone reckons it's brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, Cobra Kai's supposed to be brilliant. I see yeah. him talking about it and then people saying the story sort oh, of swings yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the There's a YouTube video out there that says, uh, deep down, Daniel Russo was a cunt. Oh, I've seen it. And it's brilliant. It's just all his fuck. No, like in the fucking, in the disco. They're saying, uh, Johnny and all the skeletons are minding their own business. Yeah. He still comes up and squirts them over in those pilots, which is right. Um, then they say when they catch up with him, they don't even want to chat with him. Then he gets his Chinese mate to beat fuck out of everyone. Yeah. Um, the Russo, Chinese <laughs> mate. <laughs> LaRusso is on the beach, tries pulling Johnny's misses. Yeah. It's all right, mate. He's a cunt, mate. Daddy yeah, was yeah. Yeah. Mate, when you watch this, even fucking better. Oh, maybe you've got to get into that. What's it on, though? It's YouTube. On, no, we've got to pay, pay for, for YouTube. It's on YouTube Premium, yeah. No way. You want to watch the first two episodes free? Oh, they don't play with that one, do they? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 there's a will, isn't yeah. there? Uh, who Mella? He likes his question. He's asked it before. Have you ever headed a football that was kicked into the crowd? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Well, he's got yeah. the eight advantage. Yeah, I've been to many games. I went to a couple of Carnage Swans games when I was younger and stuff yeah. like that. Who would be like uh, VIP in the box or anything? Oh, yeah. I, remember, I remember watching Cardiff I went there once and I think I can't remember who just boxed, but I walked down by the Coopers. Everyone's chanting ends. How amazing is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And yeah. I went, went and watched a game. I was fucking howling. Come home. I walked on one, I walked up the shop, I was fucking steaming. I was reading the paper, I bought the paper, yeah. I read the paper, and I thought, fucking hell, we had a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> we went 2 1, we had yeah. a penalty. Like, so, back in, uh, I, was, I was going to the last time. The only time I go down now is if my boy wants a, wants a goal. I remember he went to go to the Man City game, and like, in the last year before, I said, oh, boy, or Liverpool game, I yeah. said, oh, tickets all sold out, boy. He said, oh, you can guess. I'm oh, I love you. Like it up. Like it up. Big shout out to the trans. Nice, mate. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Craig Mush Evans, can you tell us about your undefeated Sunday League double winning football career? What a silly fucking carry me. I remember the first game, first game fucking. I was going 50-50 with the keeper and he was going to get the goal ball before me and as he got there he went like, oh, sorry oh no <laughs> but man, it, was, it was a great laugh you know fucking who was that with that was with Thomas Todd Thomas Todd James Thomas Todd, 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 Todd was brilliant I remember I won, a, I won a European title on a Tuesday right got back on a Thursday oh, got back on a Friday night 
they were playing on a Sunday and I said, oh, I, I don't want to play, right? So he phoned me up, he said, lock me in, man, short when you come down. And I said, ah, fuck it. So I come down, I brought a belt with me, like, ah. Amazing. Got caught fucking speeding on the way down there. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a car, the woman's like, I pulls me over, she's like, what's your name? She said that Enzo McCann, and she said, oh, I thought he was here. I said, oh, fuck, did he? Oh, well, no. I found out that her husband caught me on a four a week ago. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Enzo playing. It'd be like when uh, Colin Payne played for Winch when. Yeah. Not kidding. Nobody Col- ran near it. In Colin's head, you must think he's better than a man of Donna because he was like part of the Red Sea. Oh. Honestly, he was just he just ran up the middle of the and, and everyone was running away. It was tremendous. I was honest, I was fucking rough as fuck. Yeah. yeah, I was just flying there. Then I played. Um, I was playing for Plough. I was playing under fifteen. I was playing seniors same day. Mm. I just loved it. Like the sent off first game against the seniors. I was only fifteen, but when I come back, I go into rough. I don't know if you're the same. Of course, you don't have your punch. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it was a good laugh. It was a great but laugh. Did I not see you play in soccer six for Italy? With like, no, I was forced to. I got the shirt and all that, but I couldn't make it. Right. I done the, I done the slavery down in Liberty. A couple of years oh, ago. right. Oh, scored the soccer, I scored so. their own goal. I was no way. Honest to God, I was supposed to go up front with Trent and all that. Yeah. It was fucking great. And then someone didn't turn up, Shane Warne. They said, oh, that would have been Shane Warne? They said, oh, would have been the defence? I said, yeah, you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm in defence. So you got me, Dean Edwards, a chef, good player. Right, yeah. With Stevie Ritchie from the X Factor. Nice, yeah. Stevie and you had fucking, and you had Ian Peel. Ian Peel. Right? So then two, then two, then two running yeah. up, then two running up from a fucking defence. They won't get back. So you got an RV coming at me, yeah. Jake Quinn, and then coming at me. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, RV, 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 tackles RV. Yeah. Tackles RV, ball bounces off me. It's the fucking, it's the crossbar. It's me who goes in. Oh, <laughs> oh, so it goes, it goes in the change room half time. I said, you're a prick. You were a prick, you were a fucking wanker. I said, I'm not playing unless I'm going up front. Yeah. And the dog is on a trundle on the floor. Yeah. floor yeah. You're I you're crying in the corner. I said, you're making me look like a country from my own people. Yeah, like. yeah. fucking so, yeah. And then after them, fucking my cousin Shane took a photo of me on the big screen. Ah, my cousin just fucking scored their own goal. No way, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. It's happening. Yeah. So like, I, went on, I went on the wing then. <laughs> Get out the way, like. Charlie Collier, who is the best out of De Niro? Denzel Washington, Tom Hanks, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Tom Hanks, boobs, absolute fucking Amazing. classic. Nice. One of the hands come out of the cave. Oh, no, hang on, Hanks oh. one of the absolute Tom classic. Hanks. Tom Hanks is filmography. Is and Denzel's picking the boobs. Mate, yeah. mate. So, mate. Yeah, on. Big. I don't care. The burbs. The burbs, 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 burbs for me. Yeah. You got you got the money pet, you got fucking you got all the forest gum all that. Yeah. The burbs for me was fucking unbelievable. When we was kids, me and my Then you your raging ball oh. and all that. The cap though, I'm a massive fan of the cap though. Oh, yeah, but I gotta be honest, a couple of years ago I done a I done a question and answer the thing and like uh, Who's your, who's your boy I'd crush and stuff like that? Kelly LeBrock. Uh, who's your favourite fighter? Gatti. Who Kelly can, LeBrock. Who'll play you in a film? Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Funny enough, right? Denzel is fucking brilliant. Funny enough, I watched American Gangster on Netflix on the night before last. Man on fire, American Gangster, yeah. Training Day, Fallen, fucking Denzel's brilliant. Ricochet. Have you seen Ricochet? Amazing, man. Amazing. I'm I knew you would have seen Ricochet, right? see? One of the early ones. In the bomb Denzel and John was, Lithgow. Where's he fallen? Yeah, amazing. That's a bomb. Oh. Ah, ah, it's on my side. Yes, it is. Oh, my God, man, you see that? Yeah, brilliant. So I go Denzel. Dean Roselli put me on that. Dean Roselli put me on that. Fallen, bone collecting's good. Yeah. 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 Denzel fucking for me, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen Equalizer 2 yet, but I haven't seen Equalizer. Sorry, sorry. Equalizer, Alex. Yeah, sorry. I must have gone with a train. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Deja Vu. Deja vu. I haven't seen Deja vu. Good um, film. He got game. Fucking another yeah, crime. Yeah. Remember the Titans. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. He was over another King Carter as well, wasn't he? The Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we're going Denzel. Denzel. The yeah, yeah, second. Yeah. And then okay. Tom Hanks for the boobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Notman. Donald Trump or Boris Johnson in an open stance three rounder. Basically, Donald Trump or Boris Johnson in a straight net. Oh, I go, I go with Bor- Boris. I don't. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. She didn't fucking play right. We need to smash that kid. Smash that kid over, didn't he? I don't know what you're doing. Chinese kid. I don't know what you're doing. I'm acting fuck up. Not only is the kid four year old, he's Chinese as well. Yeah, looks yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, right? He's got to show people that nothing stands in his way. Yeah. And he fucking didn't. He flattened them. I'm sure what about the day. Didn't he flatten someone in the football as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he didn't. I, I, I think he just fell over it. He <laughs> fell over and just happened. <laughs> the rugby, the rugby, he fucking yeah. handed him off. Full on, right. And like a little Chinese kid, he didn't give a fuck. 
He didn't give a man. He's one race, so how old he was, did he? Boom. Um, what the fuck's been going on in Parliament, mate? I've no I've idea. I've seen his brother. His brother was out today. You know what his brother said? He said, I love you. Right. They sneaky cunts, these politicians, mate. The other year, like the Millibands, innit? Both going... They both went for the Labour Party leadership. Awesome. Apparently they don't speak. One moved to America. Like it, Same as happening with this. He's come out and said, oh, look, I've had to pick between my family and the fate of Britain. You don't give a fuck about the fate of Britain. No. What a sneaky cunt to do at your own brother. Like You've got to laugh at Brexit. We are fucked <laughs> as a country. Let me tell you. KSC ran out the chicken last year. Can you remember yeah, that? Yeah. The country shut down. We can't <laughs> handle Brexit. That's fucking going to put us in tatters. It was murders when KFC ran out the gravy. Fuck, you know, we've got to be fucked, mate, in a couple of months' time. Dean Anthony, uh, every song on a Rocky Four soundtrack is an absolute belter. Which is your favourite, and do um, do you feel like battering Drago after it? Oh, yeah, 100%. I've well, seen the new Creed, though. Well. Yes. I am awesome. You haven't seen it? No, I am awesome. The first like, Creed no. film I enjoyed. Yeah. The second Creed film, I literally want to tell you something. I've got to find a time when I watch on my own. I think you'd like Creed. No, I think it's... You read the first Creed, It's one I'm jealous of Barry for being in a Rocky film. Yes, I I'll be honest, he is my mate, but I am jealous yeah. of him. Uh, and the other thing, I heard he's not well, and I've got to watch on my own, so I'll cry my fucking eyes out, then murder, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> As for a song... Oh, Hearts on Fire? Ah, no easy way out. We're going to get some of that more fucking... Oh, really? Is it? Man, that's my tra- yeah. go to training song. Is that they caught some belters lately? Some fucking really? dodgy fucking. That is a great. And just before that song comes on, I love it when Paulie falls in love with a robot. Oh. I wanted a Lamborghini, you bought me was walking trash can. Oh, Paulie. <laughs> oh, Happy oh, birthday, Paulie. Paulie. Paulie's one of the unfucking appreciated characters. He is a bit. He's amazing. Oh, absolutely absolutely amazing. amazing. Can you swim? What? The name like Rock. Fucking hell, it's another chair. Paddy's just walking trash can. It's not the first time I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. We played the, the standard of the chairs. It was fucking 16 quid of Amazon. <laughs> right, because i got to run and go for a piss, and I know this story, you've got to tell Paddy, what's the joke, in Joe Kazagi's book, the story of you and him in a night, nightclub in Miami. Oh, right, and I can run the toilet right, there. Go on. Go on. Uh, first, first of all, how did you get in Miami? Why are you in Miami? We're, oh, mate, it was just mad. We went to, we went to the WBO convention. Nice. I went to be a Joe yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, we went uh, we went out in the night with one, one of the WBO officials. He, he took us out for a few drinks and stuff like These that. These trips now were all paid for. Like, yeah, yeah. France, France, fucking France, France, hotels. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. We had, we had That's w- an experience. Oh, man, amazing, man. Yeah, we yeah. had the WBO convention. And uh, he took us out. He took us to his bar, me and Frank Warren's right on man, Dinah Skill Martin, and Wolves of Walker. Right. Oh, fucking brilliant guy. Um, and we was out with a few drinks. We said, oh, do you want any clubs about? Yeah, oh, yeah. Any, any good bars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, I didn't go out with fucking Joe Pinnons. <laughs> and then, um, right. so we and then we on the tank for him. We go to this club. And we're in this club now, I can't remember the name of it. And I can, this guy comes up and he starts whispering in my ear. I can't, I can't hear a word he says. Yeah. Like, I can't hear a fuck all. So he goes over, starts uh, talking to Joe. So he comes back to me and he starts whispering in my ear. Mm. I mean, I, look, I don't, can't understand it. I'm looking around now, there's no fucking girls in the place. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, as I'm looking around, I feel something by my leg. So I look like that next time, I feel pe- fucking two fingers got my ass. What my the team, fuck is that? He was in the gate. Like he's back in Bishop Hall? He was in the biggest gate <laughs> club in fucking Miami. Shut right? the fuck so up. I, this I, is in Miami as well. I turned around, right? I, turn around, I fucking gripped this boy, I slung him on the dance floor, I'd gone after him, Joe's pulled me back, I had a scooty guys come over, and I was fucking curling and stuff like that. Yeah. But when I calmed down, I thought to myself, I just need a taser me. They would have trapped me outside. That fuck, they'd be waiting for me outside. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it, was, it was just hell of a trip. So we fuck, we went we went back in. Goes back to the hotel. He gets back. Goes to sleep. Joe wakes me up at fucking seven o'clock. Opens the door. Breakfast. Uh, yeah. Goes out. WBO convention. So me and him now banging and hanging. Yeah, yeah. We got the, ch- the Chinese. The Chinese to the WBO convention. They come over and like, hi, Shaggy. McAnelly, no, <laughs> photo, photo. <laughs> so we fucking, yeah, fuck it all day, pissed out of the head. Then they took us to a batting cage. A what? Uh, you know, bat, baseball. baseball batting oh, of course. Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. our balls yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Just fucking nuts out. But, you know, when we look back, if they'd have tased me, I'd have been outside on all fours. I'd have been outside on all fours. <laughs> that prick would have been hiding behind the bed. Imagine that. Breaking his lips, fucking have this, you fucker. TMZ, you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of you in the background. Everybody dance now. 
Flat do, uh, do you see Joe much now? No, I don't. I speak to him. I speak to him all the time. Right, like, and um, yeah, we, we chat with him. He phoned me the other day actually. And fucking a big part of my life, Joe. We fucking got best time of your life. Go bed yeah, as well. Yeah. So, like, so fucking yeah, we do speak quite a bit. Like, I think friendship like that lasts for the you. Know, there's some some friends who got. I got some mates. Fucking Walsh is one of them. Say you've got mates who who don't see from one year to the next. But when you see them, them all, like, away, yeah. it's like if you were them every it's, day. It's a guy lot, a guy lot, like class of like biggest fan. I don't see him all yeah, the time, yeah. but we speak all the time and stuff like that. You know, he's more than just my trainer, but he's a good mate. Like, yeah. And I know I give him shit, he's a miserable fucking lot, but he's some of the last. He looks a good man. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, of the last man in Germany and Russia. Just fucking brilliant. Like. I suppose when he goes through shit like that. Yeah. I suppose like going to fucking war, innit? Which you basically are, innit? Oh, mate. You're going to war and you just more to it. Like, you just fucking. From the moment we went to Russia, the moment we come back, mm. I'm looking back now. I wish we'd have had uh, a film crew come over to Germany. Spot on, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like to Gavin Reese. He's one of the funniest boys you'll ever meet. Yeah, yeah. But it's just brilliant times. Like we are um, lucky enough to go to New York to see Joshua and Ruiz. Uh, Ruiz, like um, we was with my mate Luke. Uh, his good friends with Rob Beck at the comedian. Yeah, yeah. Random. They like fucking personal trains him in London. They fucking really close. Like, so Beck was with us all weekend, and then on the Saturday he was watching the Champions League final. And Beck, it's good mates with Darren Barker. So Darren Barker came over with us, and uh, we was with him all day. Like, and Barker, and because we were Welsh, got Joe up on FaceTime. And like for us then, as Welsh boys there, yeah. watching the football with Darren Barker, and he's got fucking, hey, join with these Welsh fuckers, but yeah, like say hello and all. And it was like, this fucking day is great. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's like a boy as well. Lovely fella. Yeah, really like, good couldn't, I couldn't fault him, Fed, it was fucking great fella. But it's, speaking of AJ and Louise, you do have a bit of grief for what you said. No, oh, I did, didn't have a bit of grief. Because I didn't think there was anything wrong with what he no, said. No, no. What did you say, Mr. Like, no, what I said, what I said something about. The, the headline they, they put was something along the lines I don't see anything that makes me think he's going to win a rematch so what I've done I retweeted it and I put my comment on top listen to it all first before you yeah, said that's what I said. but then you still had people give me shit I said you haven't read it you haven't listened to it yes I have you haven't like, listened to it no well, all I said was unless he changes certain things I don't see no reason the outcome will be any yeah. different yeah but what I am hearing he has changed a few things. Well, I've seen the, the difference in him size-wise already. He's 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 I know, I know, I've heard, uh, I've heard rumours that Rob McCracken has taken more control, as in he dictates everything, which I don't think he did last time, yeah. and it was strength and conditioning and stuff like that, right. which I, I think I'm happy with, because Rob McCracken's a great trainer. Yeah. Um, Do you see people say, uh, was it, say, oh, Lennox Lewis one that said he should maybe get rid of Rob McCracken. I'm thinking, why would you do that after no, I, loss? I think, I think, I think he listened to other people. I yeah. think, he had, like you said, the strength and conditioning. I think, I might be totally wrong here, but I think he had uh, a strength and conditioning trainer which told Rob McCracken when to do pads, when to do his boxing no, drills. Mm-hmm. So that's really, where you're all in. Yeah. Where, uh, your body's better this time, your body's better this time, it works this time. For me, I was arguing with somebody the other day about strength and conditioning, and I brought up Leonard Hagler, who spot on yeah. that. And he didn't said, even exist and, and, I, and I said um, all I done was run and box I said uh, do you think strength and conditioning would have made them better mm. and the guy said yeah I said in what way oh, they were I said nothing yeah. they were doing 15 rounds you see boys now tiring after eight yeah. these boys yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking hammer and tongue you know. my, my thing is strength and conditioning yes it plays a certain part for certain fighters mm. uh, but if you're fighting you train to fight yeah and it's like it's, it's mad but like, it's like in schools it's like I've done uh, I've done the boxing um, I had to do the coaching course I had people trying to tell me out the court and I, and I you know like, shout for boys someone's messing about in class who can't make them um, uh, can't punish them in third it's just not going to work in is it but it was like one of, one of them was you've got to find an alternative I said what do you mean he said if they don't like doing something you've got to find an alternative I said well, what do you mean he said, well, what's the warm-up? I said, well, I've got a hill by the gym, two miles. I said, that went down there, I said, warm-up. He said, that's a warm-up. I said, yeah, that's a warm-up. Yeah. He said, what would you do if one of them didn't want to go? I said, well, well, what do you mean? You know, if he didn't want to go. I said, well, I'll ask him if he's got any injury, he's got a bad leg or something yeah. like that. So he'd want to bike and something like that. He 
said, what if, what if he said he's just died again, you don't want to go? I said, he's ever got one, he'll have a fuck with his ass and he's out the gym. Yeah. I said, that's the way Is I... Is there anything wrong with that? No, so. Really? <laughs> oh, that's good. Someone's messing around in the class, yeah. what would he do? I said, they'd be impressed at Bertie and stuff like that. I oh, can't do that. I said, why? So you're embarrassing him. I said, well, stop fucking about my yeah, But that's part uh, of life, right? I, I, had a big argument, I had a big argument. I said, you're tra- tra- training fitness instructors. Yeah. He's a boy, he's boys. And what I didn't like was it was a lot of new coaches who've never been in a gym, never been around the gym. It's, it, when I done it, it was me, my brother, Gavin Reese. Yeah. And, you know, just Josh Brain, I think, was with him. Yeah, right Josh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, Josh was a, among five of us who was the only one who should have really passed. All the others should have gone back with different. You know, you, you, me as a parent, I want to be comfortable that the guy knows yeah. he's doing in the corner of my kid. And then you talk about going out shouting in the corner and Gavin Reese went around. Fuck it, that mean one. Yeah. What a um, part of life is, learning. same as when they, they say about in schools now, they don't have sports, they winning or losing, right? It's all about taking You've got to learn in life to lose. You've got to learn in life, like they said, oh, you might embarrass them. Part of life is being embarrassed. If you can laugh at yourself, it's not embarrassing, is it? But don't fuck about. Yeah, don't fuck around. Yeah, in the class. respect, isn't it? If you've learned to lose, learned to get embarrassed, and are able to laugh at yourself, it's going to stand in good stead in years to come. Because in the end, you ain't going to really, you know, if you like scared to lose or scared to be embarrassed or worry what other people think, it ain't going to be good in the future in life when no. you're in the real world, like you're just you know, fucking fanny and everyone all the time. Yeah. Right? It, it, it isn't. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about mental health because it's a big thing and, uh, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of it lately, but I think a lot of it, uh, not to everyone, but I think a lot of it today is kids having everything too easy. You know, good show, yeah, and, stuff like that. And, and when it's some, a problem does come, they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, some, a lot of people are a lot more than that. That's mm-hmm. why I don't want to... No, you can't generalise. No, I don't want to... You can't tarnish it. I do, I do yeah. think a lot, a lot of them are... Again, they can't deal with problems because they yeah. can't. Everything's so easy. Mm. You know, can't get shouted at in school. Police can't shout at you. Do, do what you want, basically. You know. mm. It's fucking potty, man. No, yeah. there's nothing wrong with day getting a clip around the back of the fucking. Oh, no, 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 I no, petrified no, no. my dad. Yeah, yeah. I petrified my dad. I'm fucking, we all were. Yeah, 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 yeah fuck now, yeah. now kids are not. They don't even have to shout. They don't even have to raise their voice. So like, my my yeah. boy's not petrified. It's called respect. My boy's not petrified. Me, but he fucking knows what he can and can't yeah, do. Yeah, that's the same with my two. I don't have to shout at my kids. No. Yeah, not because I got ever whacked them or anything like that, just because they respect me. Mm. You know yeah, what my mean? boy's getting big, so if I whack them, <laughs> you don't have to whack <laughs> them. I, I, I remember a story about my, bar, my brother Varro told me about my dad. They sparred. They sparred. When I was a kid, I got a fork or something. Who knows? You were a man of kids. I was in the third round, fucking, my brother dropped him with a body shot. Right, and as he's bent, as he's over, fucking gasping for air, battle the sea, you know, so the fucking beatings he gave me when I was younger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on then. Is it? Um, Jack Army 1912. Who was your favourite boy band and who did you model yourself on? Went through stage we send you. Really? Oh god, can you imagine? Everybody that? in I the Amsterdam. Yeah. Imagine Antoine. Imagine Antoine, that big white jacket on the stage video. That big white jacket, it was that like fucking beanie hat. Remember that? Yes. Pulled on him years down there. Fuck it. I know a music fan is. I don't mind a bit of yeah. Yeah. I mean, a bit of anything I am, eh? Yeah, yeah. But that uh, fucking. I, I got my. um. Just run a random playlist the other day, fucking Backstreet Boys in there. So no way. Mate, honest to God, like, fuck <laughs> Backstreet's back and fucking, and, as long as you love me. Oh, <laughs> so, God, so, God, it's, no. it's a bit soft, that. Yeah. And take that and I'll uh, take, take you back. Really? Take you back is that anyone, is that? Back. Is that anyone, yeah. is that? No, uh, never forget. No, I want you back and I was, uh, I think I was only unacceptable at the time. Uh, I don't know. Fucking, uh, Backstreet Boys, probably. Really? Uh, I used to fucking, I used to, like, I used to the guy, you know, I used to, I can't, AJ, is it? Yeah, uh, ask uh, me, I don't fucking know. Go on, his haircut, is it? Yeah, you used to fucking, I think I was going to go go a bit of a beer that right, time yeah. and stuff like that. I tried to do it again, just fucking bum fluff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cat's here licking at the desk. It's probably, yeah. probably backseat. Yeah, yeah. That's from Gary. What's your favourite Kurt Angle moment? He had loads, I used to love Kurt Angle, but for me, you know, for me, love when it. people used to give him shit, he used to just come up with like that, yeah? Was he gold medals then? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, he was a genuinely, like, like legitimate ass. Well, I, 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 read, I read a book, I think it was Chris Jericho's book, and he said that every time after the show, 
we all knew, oh, you just get a fucking tank down. Yeah, yeah. And Brock Lesnar would always go up with Kurt Angle. Come on, let's wrestle, wrestle, yeah. wrestle. And Kurt Angle used to wipe the floor with it. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Brock, Les- Brock Lesnar, unbelievable American level wrestler. Yeah. Kurt Angle. Was a little bit cool. Really? Yeah. When, he used to, when he used to come up with fucking, where's he go, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Kurt Angle was, a, was fucking amazing oh, because man. he was super talented. And like when he first came in, he was su- such a cheesy guy. Oh, yeah. It was fucking unbelievable. But I've been watching them all lately. It's a, it's a, it's a sight on Twitter. Uh, yeah, 90s wrestling, 80s wrestling. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. showing a lot of things with Mr. Perfect. Amazing. He's fucking chucks a tongue. Chucks a tongue in the, the guy's, guy's face, face today. Arrogant as fucking yeah. brilliant. And Ramsh and Rick. Mm. Amazing. Fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. But I remember, the Kurt Angle one I remember was when him and Steve Austin were singing the songs to oh, Vince yeah. McMahon. Yeah, Jimmy Cragorn and all that. Brilliant. It <laughs> Austin was brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, they, 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 they were the great times. But I remember because I was big in wrestling back then, but Kurt Angle left WWE and he was in um, TNA, and he TNA, wrestled yeah. S- Samoa Joe and AJ Styles and all that, and some of his best matches that I saw were in there, mm-hmm. like, and he was fucked then, he got oh, yeah, his yeah. neck, but, but, he, he broke he, his neck didn't he, in, the, in the Olympics, really? the world, yeah, won yeah. the Olympics with a broken neck, yeah, he Fuck, broke yeah. it after through the fight, didn't he? so then obviously all the pro wrestling, a lot of wear and tear, yeah, and yeah. They, they basically, they, they got it, they kicked him out of, um, yeah, straight up stairs, you are? Yeah, keep going. Oh, he's stretching back. Yeah, I was going. I ran enough. He, uh, <laughs> he, he basically because his neck was fucked and that. He was taking a lot of like, uh, you know, they got oh, yeah, yeah. prescription painkillers and all that. Of course, yeah. yeah. And basically, like he failed like wellness tests and all that, and they released him for his own good. Mm. They, they didn't want him to wrestle anymore, yeah. and he was like, "No, I want to keep on wrestling." And they, they, and, he, and then he wrestled him for another fucking ten years after. He's still alive. Yeah, he's back in WWE. He's back in WWE. Yeah, back in w, yeah he not really watching. He boy just caught. I, I saw. <laughs> he was in the Hall of Fame yeah. and everything. He got in the Hall of Fame and stuff. Fucking legend. Um, Thomas Todd, who is the thickest boy to ever train at Bony Mind Gym, past or present? Oh, mate, it's been so many, but it's definitely one of the Todd brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like a single one out there, it was yeah. definitely one of them. <laughs> I, I, I caught uh, Tom doing something earlier, he answered the question for me. Yeah, yeah. Silly yeah. fucker. What's he doing? <laughs> well, someone, uh, I think we've already asked him. Case, I know it was a case. No, 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 it was, oh, it's coming up, yeah. it's coming up. Someone asked him a question, and obviously the Wayne's probably saw all the questions yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But Thomas just answered it for only be off, didn't he? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So we'll get to that as it happens because I have got it fucking written down here. Yeah, somewhere. whatever, man. But uh, I think um, Chris Jones asked it. But what do you think of the KSI Logan Paul thing? As, as in what? As in as as what as 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 yeah. do you think of like Billy Joe now? Yeah, someone else was going to promote that, but Billy Joe on it. And it sounds bad, see, because he's on the end of the card. But believe it or not, these two boys got more fucking support than probably any boxer. Yeah, it's fact, 10 million it's, boys. It's, I, I, I know, I was one of them. Really? Yes, my boy, really? for my yeah. boy. You know, I don't know what the fuck they are. Mm. Yeah. Walking on, one of the brother was walking on with the WBC belt. I don't know what the fuck that Crazy, was. Crazy, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, as a business side of things, it's genius. What do you think it is? Why not Matthew? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Someone else can have it. Billy Joe sees it like a but he's, money, money, money. Yeah, yeah, really he's going to get a stupid amount of money for that. He's going to get a stupid amount of views. And if he can uh, get half of these boys involved in boxing, mm. it's a genius well, stroke. I, I, it's I, the I, same I, as McGregor Mayweather thing. Yeah. Oh, he's coming in sooner. So what? Mm. You know, it happens. It's, it's, it's an event. It's a company jazz, man. You can't be jealous because you're fucking doing the stupid amounts of money. You're doing the stupid, you're doing the stupid amounts of money, not from boxing fans. Yeah. You're doing the stupid amounts of money from their fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I've seen the idea, you an interview if asking it's a demand Sky for Sports, it. like, and you know, basically that's what it is. So, someone yeah. else will have it. He's, yeah, someone else is going to do it, so he's going to pack the card. You know, if you look, look, look at these boys now, who we'll slide them all off, I'm sure if they had a chance to promote it. Yes, yeah, of course. You yeah. don't have to promote it, they promote themselves. Yeah. yeah. And he, these boys... It's probably the easiest show you'll ever do. So I'll, be, I'll be honest, like the last one, like, I never stream nothing. Yeah. I always buy it. And then I try to stream it because I grudge paying it. Couldn't do it. Mm. Couldn't do it. Yeah. they got so many fucking computer geeks. Of course they are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. nothing. Yeah. So I had to buy it for my boy. And it was one fight on it. It was all right. Yeah, it was like garbage. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, it's not, it's not affecting... I don't think it's affecting boxing fans because boxing fans are not going to buy it. Yeah. The, the, I don't know how they hope it's not clear. Well, yeah. they might because Billy Joe's fighting. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. They, they, they might do because they're going to sell. You, yeah. you, you'll have to see now what he does with the rest of the card because it's in the US and, and going by what Eddie Irwin was saying in the very senior he's going to stack the card with like young fighters and that. And if Billy really? Joe's is going to be on it and that. Mm. 
Well, I, I, you know, I mean, if, if even if I don't give a fuck about KSI or Logan Paul, I'm going to watch Billy Joe Saunders, yeah. isn't I? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think about that, the age of you boys, you're probably going to watch them, like, as well. Well, they don't know who KSI or Logan Paul is. Oh, my, my, a little bit too young for that. Yeah, my daughter did as well. A little bit too young. You fucking watch it. was a big deal. No, I know who Logan Paul is. Yeah. Sort of. But I have no idea who KSI is. He said, this is something like some sort of rapper or something. No, YouTube. Like, YouTube. What they do, they just film their lives, like, and I don't know how it happened. Like I said, kids don't watch TV these days. They just watch people living their oh, lives. Like, like my boy growing up, he's fucking watching something on YouTube, The Annoying Orange. Fucking hell. I never, yeah. <laughs> Random as yeah. My kids just watch other people play Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. They all are, man. Yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. Man. So, like What happened to Super Mario Brothers? Unbelievable, man. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, is it good or bad for boxing? Time yeah, will fucking tell. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing. Time yeah. will tell. Is it is it bad for boxing in general? No, because it's not it's not proper boxing. No. You know, they have got a license, but would it be good? Could bring a lot of new fans to the sport. Yeah, yeah. Could be giving these boxers more money and giving better shows and stuff like that. So you, you don't know. You mm. don't know. Is it in LA? Is it Staples Centre? <laughs> no, they sold out. Yeah, they, yeah. they sold out the MEN in the day. Yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah. I see like you've got that kid. Huh? I've got that one. I see no, we're like, that diabetes will play out. I'll wait till you've got. I will feel so guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, they said they've done 10 million buys, man. They did not. They did not. Huh? 1.8 million, Eddie. Oh, said. was it? Yeah. Oh, fucking I would. You know, I mean, well, I would much agree. Yeah, that. yeah. He, I was watching the interview yesterday. He said 1.8 million. Yeah. Which is still not still a lot of that. Like. Yeah, it's, it's not as much as Mayweather and uh, McGregor. It's not far off. But it's still. Oh, it's yeah, it'd be fucking good now. Yeah, yeah. do promotion now. Mm-hmm. So last time we could only get it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. On your channel. So what are you going to have on Sky Sports today? Box office. Sky Box office. Right? Yeah. I always have box office. Mm, it will yeah, be. It will be, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're going to sell as a pay-per-view, aren't they? Um, right, Jez's screen. When was the real last time you had a talk? <sighs> I mean, when I lost to Alexander Frankel, I was fucking depressed. Um, I broke my jaw, I couldn't eat properly. I thought I would mention his name, but I was pulling one of the boys. <laughs> he used to drop, drop me two, two, two spliffs up every night at like 12, 12 o'clock at night. I'd be out the back fucking talking on him, fucking guy opposite me, CID shined the light to me. Shined the light to me. I could fucking see you yeah. anywhere like in that. Uh, Probably the week before he'd fall in the car. He's a cut. Yeah, so that. Following him. Yeah. Yeah. And then a few years later, I, I stopped it. So, believe it or not, I was in the house, I was watching um, Only Fools and Horses. Yeah. I went in, I fucking took the tour, I don't know what the fuck he put in, he's not anything but a skunk, I think. So I'm, uh, I'm eating my Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia ice cream, man. <laughs> Cherry Garcia. Right, and, and I swear to God, Dell called me a ponga. <laughs> exactly. So I, I stopped that for a bit. Then I went out one night for Christmas do with the boys. Rob Reese uh, had, a, had a fucking absolute skin pull. It was snowing. Um, goes, out, goes outside of somewhere. Oh, I am I seen this boy. He's, he's smoking a fag. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'll try that. I'm like, oh, sh- 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 a champ. I said, fucking give it here, She said, yeah, I too fucking good fucking joint, man. Oh, fuck. My fucking legs went. I didn't know what I was fucking my legs like that. Uh, I ended I end up running home in the fucking, to school in the fucking, uh, in the snow, got all the way home, yeah. slept on my fucking drive. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was probably the last one. I told her, I said, 212, 2012, 2013. Uh, again, thought about it a lot since. I like, uh, you win the estate. Shut up, no pie. Oh, you know, <laughs> you've got a new neighbour. Oh, I'll crowd it there tomorrow. Our neighbour. Our neighbour. Our mate have just moved in. You've got a new neighbour. Cobbly. Cobbly's up there. Absolutely. You won't talk about bringing the neighbour up down. He's going to end up on his bike naked outside the house. Third of the valley. Yeah, I can't be in there. Right. Yeah. Luke Jennings. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, here we go. Who would win a fight, Stephen Hawking or a prime Mark the Boxer? And I'm sure that's an in joke. Yeah, right. it is. It is an in joke, right? And I will say, when he was training with me and he's training with me now, I can see him scraping past on points. When he when he when he, he slopped off to another gym, he he's, got, he's getting he, fucking smashed. He is. Yeah, who knows it? Ooh. He was always with Enzo in um, the Budo shows. Image of Mark Wright. He's handsome boy from Dunfermline, isn't he? Is uh, he he, he, he fucking posh by West Cross, isn't he? Is Image of Mark Wright. Yes. Oh, you have he, met him yet? Yeah, as it happens, he's a good boy, like but. Boxing wise, 
Yeah, he'd, he'd scrape on points in Hawkins and he'd get smashed when he went to the gym. Scrape like. on points in Hawkins. <laughs> right, I'm fucking being jealous at that. Well, <laughs> as it happens, he was a running joke and he, he lost, he won his first fight and he lost his next four and then he, he just couldn't get a win in Swansea and then he right. went to the novices last year. He fucking epic. He had three fights, he went three novices. No way. And we've done that. I'll have to show the photo, or I can't show people. I, I, I took a photo, I had four winners, I had four boys going to the novices, my cousin Shay. Uh, Carl and uh, Carl and some and Matt and I got a photo of Matt and I put each photo on Twitter like, well done to the yeah. boys and stuff like that and Mark's pulling this face and someone come on my Twitter and he went like, oh fair play to you what are you doing I said what do you mean what am I doing looking after people who are special <laughs> 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 so you know I had your Mark yeah. put it on and then did because of she would be she or Don or yeah, it? Mick. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't brag him up too good, but if he carries on the way he's going, he's special. Really? Yeah. So Whose boy is that? Would he be Paddy's, Paddy's, Paddy's boy. boy. Yeah. I, I, will be on, I will be honest. I don't want to brag him up too much. It's, course, a, long, yeah. it's a long way to go. Yeah. He's just turned 18. He's got that left up to the body. Yeah. Uh, he boxes like me. He's a good, rangy boxer. Um, and he's a tough little fucker. Yeah. He's a tough little fucker. I see him sparring. He's he done a bit of sparring. He'll do Jake Anthony and stuff like right, that. Right, I see, yeah. He's uh, fighting next week, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a tough little fucker. Yeah. yeah. I, I got another, I got a, I got a couple of boys doing the same thing. Well, Callum Green, what he done last year, fucking unbelievable. He went in the... Went in the Would went, Callum be Richie's boy? I think so, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah right, two yeah, fights. Yeah, he went in the yeah. novices. First fight in the novices, box boy. had five, one, five, stop, four. Stopped him in two rounds. No way. Stopped. He won a points in second fight against a good boy. He asked me to go in the elite, and I thought, oh fuck, boy, you only had two fights. I don't yeah. want to put him in. So he puts him in. Pulls the boy first fight. I think he had twenty seven fights. Done him. No way. Second fight, he had to fight the boy. The next day, he had to fight the boy. Seventy five fights. Welsh team squad member. Just come back from some tournament. Took a gold, a silver, or something like that. Done him. Guess a, guess a fight in a final against the fucking golden boy having his end of fights. Uh, Croft, brilliant fighter, brilliant yeah. fighter. Comes back at the end of the first round, he had a fucking armour in there. Eh? No. I said, oh, Carl, I'm going to pull you up. But he, said, he said, I can't see. I said, I'm pulling you up. He said, don't pull me up, don't pull me up. I said, look, I'm going to have a towel. I said, we'll take anything. He come back into the second round, fucking hell, he done well, he did. Yeah. He lost the fight, right? Yeah, yeah. He lost the fight on points. And pretty much he walked out that ring considering the kid had five fights against this killer. Yeah, yeah. And let me say this boy is good. Yeah. He's got the best young kids I've seen, massive experience. All the kids give him a fucking round. No way. I've had another boy who said, Ollie, he's had 14 fights, he boxed, he boxed a Pan Asian Games gold medalist, beat him. Yeah. He went up to Bedford Box Boy, 100 fights, beat him. And Morgan McIntosh, he come on well, he got lost in the final, I thought he won the final. I got, I got, a, I got a really strong squad. Yeah, yeah. How many have you got there, boy? All together. Yeah, I got loads. I got over thirty seniors up there. Really? Oh, yeah, I got all fighting, all active. Yeah, I say about half of them are fighting, uh, half of them want the fight, but mm. I won a little fight. You know, at the end of the day, with me, I will chuck the boys in when I, when I think they might be yeah. ready. I chuck them in when they're ready, so I know they have as my priority. I don't care what I, what I don't accept in my, in the boys with the boys at the gym. I won't accept them losing a fight if it's not to a better boy. No, if it's because they yeah. cut corners, if they haven't been the best, I can't accept it. Yeah. They've lost to a better boy, there's nothing more I can do. I give a massive hug. I, like I said, I love all my boys. Mm. Like, I don't think people realise when I say that how much I do. Like, yeah. like, do you have boys up there who just train and yeah, not fight? Uh, yeah, because they're filled with Because they've got a whole ton of boys. Yeah. Um, a grifter. Griff, yeah, yeah, great boy. Um, honestly, yeah. Fucking, you watch him sparring, you're like, ah, oh, fucking hell, how do you fight that? You put yeah. him in a fight, fuck, he's good. Really? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicky, um, uh, Carl Lewis, uh, Ollie Moore's tribute. Oh, mate, he yeah. asked the question. Yeah, he, he asked me. Uh, oh, was he asked Joanne Jimmy? Oh, my fucking God, I'm really mad. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Ollie Moore's tribute. But those no, are a lot of boys up there, and you know, I made it clear, pain and clear. You don't have to fight boys, you just want to come up. Yeah. And you know, obviously, when I see the things with depression and stuff like that, I just, I just like them being up there. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I made it, obviously, since we're happy, well. I make playing all this look, look boys. I'm your chunk is your Tobias is your uh if you want to speak to someone, you speak to someone, you know, I don't want to feel whatever. Yeah, of course. Doors always open. I don't want to feel like you can't talk to yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
what well, I'm going to be gay you know, and I yeah. don't know I don't care as long as they feel they, they know they, can, they all probably look up to you as like a father figure yeah. Yeah. Well, and to, be honest, yeah. and to be honest that's the way we are about it. you come up better you never get me shouting at the boys give me shit yeah. it's banned up but I don't, have to, I don't have to shout to anyone I've got to give a couple of people a bit of back up now and again yeah. like, but don't have to shout to anyone they all mm. get on their jobs um, they don't question me they ask me questions but they never question me mm. uh, no I, I love it up there like you can tell that kind of yeah. passion in your voice. Like, no, yeah, 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 yeah. A good yeah. bunch of boys, and to be honest, the way I've been not fighting the back injury, and my father, my brother, and Will, and all that. Like I said, lucky I've had that, Jim. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Eli Walker's another one coming through. He had to retire from the Ospreys because of the herniated disc. Right, he had the yeah. operation. Kung, uh, he's boxing, I think he's had 4 1 3. Mm. Uh, he's good, and he's had 4 1 3, and he's only training once a week. No he way. Do it. Now, he's, now he's full time, so I'm hoping to see. Bit more of him this year as well. Mm. Um, do you want to ask our questions? Is it? Oh, yeah, Carl Lewis. Um, even though who knows it, who loved the new Jumanji, what's your favorite ever film remake? The new yeah. Jumanji was brilliant. Do I haven't seen that one? I like the old one, mate. I like the old one. <coughs> yeah, I the like new the one's one. brilliant with the rock. I, uh, I think I, uh, no, there's not many good film remakes, is it? Usually the original is always I, better. I, I tried to watch a Total Recall the other day. I was a pile of shit. Yes, no, no. nothing beats fucking Doug Quaid. No, exactly. Yeah. Um, the Dawn of the Dead remake was really good. Mm, I, I enjoyed that really when he shot Jay Leno in the car park. Maybe oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is it that not any good remake? I don't know. No, it's no, any no, good remake, no, no. The Karate Kid. You know, I, 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 my boy watched the Karate Kid, the two, uh, Will Smith one. I mean, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't watch it. Yeah. Terminator Genesis surprised me. I thought it was alright. It's not a remake, is it? It's, it's not a sequel. It's a sequel. So, a remake wise, so you've got you've got Dan. Coming, yeah, coming they've done Pet Sandry yeah. as well haven't yeah. they Pet Sandry yeah. yeah. that's garbage is it really? uh, the original's a fucking crap yeah. no it's just I, I can't think of it I can't think of it Good. They, they, they saw it on Nightmare on Elm Street today and Friday the 30th yeah. well it is up there tomorrow isn't it yeah it's it's one bad it's one bad it was alright but I remember I think when we watched the movie we were kids yeah 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 it's a bit of a cult yeah. classic that we see it now at our age and it's like well, smack exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, can you remember that like, nah, can you remember like about a year or two ago there was like everyone running around Morriston dressed as clowns and shit, yeah. what was that all about can you remember that it's it like me all going on at the time uh, yeah there was like I think it was funny <laughs> yeah that was a weird <laughs> random time what a, what a random time I was people running around dressed as clowns fucking <laughs> scary kids like fuck me uh, oh, you like this one, man. It's big Tasty again. He's a big fan of the AC podcast. Now, after all, let's see better fucking be. How did you find the transition from pro wrestler to boxing coach? What inspired you? Know, uh, I know exactly what you know. What inspired you to do so? And would you consider boxing full time once you see like, the I don't know the story about this. The story about Enzo will tell you the story. Talking about wrestling, there's a guy called Enzo Amore. No, right, what? Well. And they've got certain people out in America fucking tagging me in thinking I'm in. And I'll be honest, it does my fucking head. I can head. imagine, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I work my bollocks off with yeah. all these belts. To get a blue tech. I'll be called a yeah. fucking wrestler. Yeah. So certain people on you find it funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, some of the guys, you know, yeah, fuck yeah, it's on you. Yeah, sorry, man, and all that. Yeah. So I just locked you up, fucking brilliant, and all that. And they end up following you and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. You know, I take it all in good jest, but fucking I hell. suppose they just put Enzo in a search. And it then comes it comes up. up the yeah, first yeah. one comes up real Enzo Mac and then yeah. they just... A fucking yeah. Enzo of all them. Because you see it all the time, don't you? There's people who've got the same names or something of somebody that happens and they oh, just yeah, get yeah, yeah. 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 There was some girl on there the other day. She called someone a ball bag. I can't, I can't think who she was. Yeah, fuck. Spoil this place. Spoil, like. spoil it then. Oh, because people were slagging her off. Right. Come on, I'm not even all that. And she says something funny. I was crying all that. Well, that's John could've, Lewis, isn't it? Couldn't have been that bad. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's John Lewis. is a guy, John Lewis in America. And, he, and John Jones. Yeah. Hello. And what? And it's a John, John Jones. Really? Yeah. I like that John and Lewis. And you've got a blue tech now? Yeah, that's John Lewis. No, one. that's John Jones. So I've got a blue tech. Have you really come to my God. Because that John, Lu- John Lewis used him in the Christmas advert. Right. Because everyone keeps tagging him on saying right. the advert shit. Right. The penguin and all that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he's like, I got nothing to do with this fucking, this department store. That's right, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is one. I'm having this one there. Any car from any TV or movie, what would you have? Oh, fucking Tom Selleck, Ferrari, and Magnum. Oh, no, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That would be no, Coolest, coolest yeah. tax fucking ever. No. I couldn't imagine. If I go for something else, 
is 81. Oh. What about the bandit transact? Uh, what Come about that? Uh, I could imagine Enzo jumping out the window like Daisy Duke and Dukes of Hazzard. Oh. I always love, love Magnum. Fucking brilliant show. Cool as fucking a Ferrari, that's me. I have seen Magnum for 35 years. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I watched, I watched, I tried to watch Does it. Does it age well? Mate's brilliant. Really? I tried to watch a new one the other day, so he's done a new one. No what? way. Yeah, what? he's done a, a remake, right? Oh, I, was I watched the first five minutes and something clicked, something's not right. And I noticed any, I've got a tash. Oh, I wouldn't be mad about that. Tom Sanders, one of the finest mustaches of all time. The premise of the show. No, no, really, no. No. Was he just like a detective? No, he was, uh, he, uh, he was, minding, he was minding a house with, me for, uh, with Higgins. Higgins, Higgins yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, what's the guy's name? Jonathan or something it was. The, the writer. Fucking brilliant. I love my I guy. can't keep it. Great, great Tom Selleck film. It's one for the 80s. I don't know if seen it. The Innocent Man. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. Three men and a baby. Three, three, three men and a baby, yeah. of course. Yeah. Innocent, innocent man. The innocent man, he gets banged up for something he didn't do. I right. saw him inside the prison. See Blue man. Bloods as well? I haven't. I know it's good. good. It's good. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. 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 It's been, it's been, it's, I thought it was one of them that would come on go. No, it's been years. years. It's on Sky Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe we'll have to get into that. Let's a bit of Selleck. Right, Richard Griffiths. Only fools and horses or porridge. I tell Richard Griffiths, I'm going to see him in the gym Monday and I'll punch it out of it. Oh, fuck, you've had it. Cr- Griff, that is. Yeah, yeah. And we call him Roy Cropper or Coronation. He, <laughs> he, he, he comes to the gym, right? He's got his, he got his bag. It's in the same as his carrier bag. He puts all his boxing gear in it and his mother bought him a bag for Christmas. Still lives, Johnny with, Shrew, still, yeah. still lives with his mother, by the way, 32. Right? <laughs> um, so you call him crop, I saw porridge, not a, not a patch of them. No, I agree. Nothing, yeah. porridge is good though. Nothing, nothing comes. I was talking the other day with Phoenix Nights. Phoenix Nights great. Nothing, not only for those Nothing, yeah. nothing beats one for those horses. Right. Do you know who Naked Martin is? Who knows who Naked oh, Martin yeah. is? Right. It's, uh, just prepare for this, this question. Jesus, Joe Burgess. If you could tattoo anything on Naked Martin, what would it be and where? Because Naked Martin's up in a game now, isn't he? Go on. If you pay him enough money, he let you tattoo him. You right. see, you see me the other day. So you just in a photo of him, right? He had two tattoos on his ass. Yeah. You see how airy that fucking bloke is. He was that his like ass? Chimp. Was that his ass? Well, you know, he's like a bit of a bend in him. Have seen the stag do? Well, which one? Well, they, they, well when he's kept, kept him, him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> they give him cap, didn't they? And just left him out. People are taking lines off his knob. Yeah, I seen that two days ago. Someone snorted a light off his penis. It's only a man at a time, then, before he goes off a ballot in the bed. You know, what's. Yeah. It's like, who's that other one? In. Big Iggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will pay him to have you stag do. Imagine being being cuffed for that. Cats, cats was my direct ever to be. Imagine being cuffed for that, like. Oh, fuck. Fucking bang, shut up. <laughs> oh. So, no, no tattoos for Naked Martin. No. He's too fucking heavy. How do you say that? It's going to end in tears, that Naked Martin. He's just eating shit. Shit, shit oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's just Oh, you're just going to have a balcony, ain't you? No, that's no, going to no. end in tears. I just want to check his hand, right? He got to have a lot it's got to be on some sort of watch yeah. list, hasn't he? Oh, it be. Uh, just Jamie, out of all he wins, what still stands out as the hardest fault? Oh, it's, it's Dominguez. I've always said Dominguez. Really? He, yeah, mate, he fucking... Why well, he just wouldn't go in Never been down in his life. Uh, box, the fight before me, he gave away fucking eight stone on a yeah. foot, two, a foot the night against uh, Valuev. Um, just teak tough. Oh, mate, I hit, him in, I hit him in the third round, right? And I, I, threw, I threw a jab, he threw a jab back, and I made him fall short, so he's falling onto the punch, and I went bang with the right hand, flush in the chin, best punch I've thrown in fucking years. You looked at me, you went, good shot. No. Mate, I'll demolize him, Zach. Honestly, honest God, mate, and for me, wherever I hit clean, they go. Yeah. Where went, would that fight have been as well? Right, right, yeah. the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we went, we went uh, I think it was nine rounds, and I caught him in the lap of cat, and I was the first man to knock him out and win the No way. So but every time you see it's a great. But mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, honestly, God, he was hard as nails. Hard as nails. I hit him with some shots, and I knocked him all out. Right? Is it because people look at him and don't, he don't look at this archetype yeah, yeah. full looking guy? Oh, mate. And people t- underestimate him. He's tough as nails. Really? You know, what was that on, on the end of the Kazagi. No, he was, he was, he was, I think it was main event. It was Kazagi was supposed to be, but he didn't turn up. No, he way. didn't turn up. He pulled a sec. Uh, Danny Williams skeleton box, can boxed, and then uh, it was me and Dominguez. Really? Yeah, oh, it was fucking great, great, great man. man. Fuck amazing. I don't think myself like boxing Millennium one of those. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fucking hell, tremendous. How many were they have had there then? It, it was loads. Of, it was it was funny because about eight weeks ago it was doing the World Cup. 
Right. And eight weeks before, we had a press conference, and Richard Maynard always set me, sets me up. He's a brilliant guy. He always sets me up for fucking shit. Come out and gone in there, and it was it was three England tops there. Mm. Danny Williams, Matt Scott, and what, four to eight, Khan, and me. Right. And I, I said, I can't wear that. He said, you have to. I said, no, you fucking not. I said, I'm fighting in Wales. I said, my own town. I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fighting in England yeah. top. I said, you've got to go. I said, there's no fucking chance. I said, he's dodgy. I said, he'd have more support than me. There's no fucking yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. won a fight. And they said, he won a World Cup. No so chance. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's absolutely bouncing. <laughs> I'd take, I'd take my, my daughter to the hospital. I was going all day the next day and she had uh, she had a little, little rash in her. Yeah. So, you know, but I was, I was watching I was watching the fucking waiting room like, no. for the penalty. She said, oh, you've you got to go in. I said, okay. That was a night, Dan. You know, that was a night, Zidane, Ed, but it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Called his mother yeah, a slag. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Joe Bloggs, what do you think Anthony Yard has to change, if anything, to win a world title? Uh, I think he needs to go old school, and you know people, people go on with this and that. Look, he got out boxed, he got out schooled, he got out worked, he got out experience. He had no experience. Mm. I think on the night, I think everyone had had the blinkers on saying he was going to win. I, I said on the BT on the night, I said, look, logically, he doesn't win. You know, and, oh, he, he nearly had it. All right, yeah, he, he did. He, He's an aging champion, uh, and he, he did nearly have him. Mm. But then when he comes back to the corner and needs some advice, and we have people shouting the lions in the camp instead of telling him what to do, I fucking just found him for yeah. I like that. He, had, he you know, he, he's got the looks, he's got the physique, and he can bang. Mm. But he hadn't done nothing yet. He hadn't no. seen him do nothing. What he showed on I, people say he's, he's world class. I, I don't see how we can see he's world class. Just to fight a world class that. fight that yeah. doesn't make you world class. He, he, didn't, he didn't win a round. Mm. He might have won around. But what he did show, he got the ability to be world class. He got yeah, some of the, the right fun, he got some of the yeah. he got the, some of the right fundamentals. You know, chin, heart, speed, uh, boxing ability. He showed good yeah. boxing ability. And you know, I, I don't want to be ne- too negative because I, mm. I, I I do like the boy. But there's a lot of things he needs to I think he needs to go old school. I think he needs to stop people fucking shouting lines in camp and kissing mm. his ass. And he needs to go somewhere fucking cold and damp and mm. you know. Just, Toughen it up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's my way. There was no step, was there? From no, I wanted. There was no was gradual yeah, progression. Yeah, yeah. Like. And look, if he'd have finished him in an eight round, he was a fucking master stroke. Mm. But he didn't. So, mm. but it's like he needs to come back down. He needs to fight British level. And what I said tonight, he bypassed British level. He bypassed UP. He bypassed world level. He went straight to elite. And elite. Yeah, yeah. Did, of course, did he yeah. show he belonged? Not really, but he showed he showed things where he can improve and. He showed a lot, a lot for me. He showed a lot of things. He ticked a lot of the boxes. Kovalev, Canelo, nice. Yeah, I, it's Canelo. Maybe it's come a bit, you know, how, how big oh, can Canelo fucking okay. get? It's, it's getting right now. It's not going to be at light like heavyweight. Oh, he's going to get Kovalev down. He's going to get Kovalev down. Kovalev struggles. Yeah, I don't think he'll be quite super middle, but Kovalev struggles with twelve seven. Right. Uh, and I, I, I like to get him, try and get him to 12-3, 12-4. Kovalev, 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 Kovalev's, Kovalev's going for the money now. Yeah. Quite nice, massive, 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 um, but Canelo doesn't want the Triple G fight. He's not interested in it, and it's not it's not because he doesn't want to fight Triple G. Mm. Uh, he doesn't want to give him a payday because he felt that Triple G sort of insulted him when you know with the, with the other fights that are gone. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't want to give him a payday, and now they reckon there's a, a, an issue between Canelo and Golden Boy. Strange, yeah. Isn't yeah, it's like I, a big, I haven't seen much, so but I will. Uh... I will uh, ask a few questions yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might give a ring later. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I said, I don't know how much truth is in it, but it was just something I fucking read the other day. Um, Christopher Jones, if you could have fought in any other era, what would it be and why? To be honest, I just never thought about it. Uh, I never thought about it. People would say, Who's, who would you like your boxer of any era? It would have been all of you, just so you could beat me up. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, but, Boxing any other year, I just just haven't thought about it. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't believe in all this. Either. Who could have done this? Who could have done that? And you there? You're in your. You'll never ever know, will it? It's you know, a, 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 a simple question. The heavies now, and when you look back, 
Du er nok, vi er vise, vi er ikke vise med Lewis to er ikke vise med Tyson Lewis, vi har ikke vise med Bert Cooper, vi har Tommy Morrison, Michael Mora, vi har vi har dem alle. Kan det blive det sådan en pause? Kan det blive det sådan en pause? Vi har ikke nogen, men det er pointless compared. Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad er det sådan en Tyson Fury's new belt? Hvad They, they are a franchise belt, is it? No. Not really listen, yeah. listen to this one. You're going to fucking love this. I thought you were annoyed with this. If he wins, they're going to give him the WBC Mayan belt. Mayan. Right? Mayan yeah. is like the Mexican. The Mexican um, god. Like, white. Yeah. Yeah. White, exactly, yeah. Um, it's not actually a championship as regards that they, they've got Deontay Wilder as their champion. And maybe they've got an interim at the yeah. in a minute. They're just giving him a belt as a present. Just to put on his shoulder when he wins, like, yeah. So basically, they went, you know. Same thing that Mal Logan Paul did. Yeah, same thing, yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing. Well, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, right, they showed the design for it and everything on Twitter the other day. Like, you know, really look. I can't really see the point. No, what's the fact? Some of the greatest fights ever were not for belts. So, you know, who gives a fuck, you know? Strange, yeah. Yeah. It's a strange one. But maybe these days, and fucking, you need something. You know, to I don't know, get ready. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. No, I just thought it was strange. Um, Brian Langan, what's your thoughts on on the WBC again? What's your thoughts on Mauricio Suleiman immediately overturning the ref's decision in the Charlie Edwards fight last Saturday night? Should VAR be used in boxing for things the ref misses, like low blows, back of the head shots, biting, etc.? What do you think of it? I thought it was a good call. Um, at the end of the, the day, uh, I like Edwards. Uh, he was getting armed in that fight. Yeah, he yeah. got himself out of trouble. Guy made a mistake. Made a mistake, but he broke the rules. So I thought, I thought it was. A, yeah, I, I couldn't understand how the ref even missed it. Yeah, he's, he's, right, he's, he's watching exactly. again. He's, he's watching straight on him as well. But uh, you know, he made the call, and that's the WBC rules. Uh, people are a bar for something like that. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's worked, isn't it? Yeah, it's worked. I th- I I looked at it and straight away. I said. You know, it's disqualification, and then when I, I thought, I said, I don't know the fuck I was watching it. I was watching myself, so I told myself, and I was like, they'll they'll overturn this afterwards. You know, not maybe yeah. on then. I don't then, think you would have seen. No contest. I don't think you would have. I don't think you would have. That's why I think uh, the, you're lucky he was here. Yeah. Lucky, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think I think they uh, that is a WBC rule. Rule, yeah, yeah. Is it really? Yeah. It's for this is suspected. Infringement of the law. They can check every they check that play. He plays, yeah. And it was. It was his oh, blatant yeah. shot. Oh, it was a nasty like, shot. Yeah, and yeah. The, boy, the boy made a fool of himself because he, he was winning. He looked phenomenal. He yeah. looked strong as an ox. Yeah, it was a strange one. That's an automatic rematch, yeah. Right, well, oh. I don't you know. He does want to move up and wait. Oh, yeah. 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 But he said in his interview before it overturned, he got interviewed before yeah. they overturned it, right. and he said, I'm struggling at the weight and blah, blah, blah. And, and then Mr. Suleiman came in yeah. and went, no, oh, we're all fucking doing that, don't worry, yeah, yeah. he's still a champion. And then he was all happy and smiles, and then yeah. he didn't mention it again. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of those, isn't it? But maybe he is big for the weight, and he does step up. Good. But Jay Alice, what do you think of that? Jay and uh, Paddy Barnes? Um, I think it's a good fight. I, I think it's a good fight. I'm, I'm going to go with the Swansea boy. I think Joy, Jay's been phenomenal over the last couple of years. Um, you know, Paddy had a couple of losses on his record. But look, look he's lost to these Mexicans. Oh, big elite, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mex- I, won't go, I won't call him elite, but, he, yeah. but, but those Mexicans are tough. I remember Carl Frampton had a nightmare fight against a Mexican. Um, I think he was at number 10 in Mexico. Mm. And, you know, you can't, you can't they tough, tough boys. Andy Rivers Jr., look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's um, to that. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Jay, because I think he looked phenomenal. I think yeah. he's been great for Swansea. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to... Have uh, another champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, Big Tasty again. Fuck, he's keen as fuck, this guy. Uh, which defeat affected you the most? How did you pick yourself up to go again? And how much do you really learn from a loss? Uh, the, what, I think one, a lot, a lot of the, fight, the fights I lost have always been for me wanting to try and entertain me and trying to put it all on the line and fucking trying to entertain me and just getting caught. I think the one that affects me the most was the Lebedev fight because when I, when we were training, uh, my style was changed. Uh, I, remember, I remember fucking sparring and he went to be more cautious. I could be more cautious in the gym. I always caught sparring with Kazagi for years, just me and boxing, fucking really good. And with that, uh, with Lebedev, it was like if we were sparring once, uh, this boy come down, I can't remember, he's an Irish heavyweight. And after about four rounds, they come back and call him, we're training at a time, he's like, Yeah, right then. He said, yeah, but you've got to do fucking 
But he thinks he said he's not in here. And I had a great monk on. Yeah. He said, well, go on, do it your way for a run. I done it my way for a run. I dropped him three times, go back to the corner. So yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. But he just changed everything about me and um, he, he brought strength and conditioning training and Carl, brilliant. You know, he could have kind of done enough for me, trying to do everything right. Fucking brilliant. But I just knew it wasn't right for me and I should have said, I was in the change room. When I'm in the change room, when, when I get the gloves on, I'm a rap, I get my gloves on, I find the, the hardest wall, I start banging the wall. That's, that's my way, that's me pumping up. They had me laying on the floor, relaxing with some fucking music and stuff like that. And, and, and I, was in, I was in the ring and I, I was told to like, fucking throw a left up with the knuckle turned over. I'd never thrown one like that in my life. I've thrown it the other way. I that must be hard after 20 years. years yeah, yeah. Wonders me. And uh, I, I, I hit me and I had to take my time. And yeah. I remember the f- right in the first round, I caught the idea that body shot, you fucking dealt with that. <laughs> and nobody would have me would have been, ha ha ha, here we go. He stepped off him. I walked away. And I totally against what he was. Yeah, he's fucking dog. So I think, and it's no fault of Carl. I thought I, I, I know he was wrong. I should have spoke up. Uh, I didn't, and that's that's probably the one that eats me. Mm. So how did I pick myself back up? I used to have fight then. Yeah. yeah, you know, I, I never changed my style for fucking no one. You know, that was the only time I changed my style, and, I, and I, someone has pissed me off, like, because mm. half the time I give my best. I, I, if I lose, I lose. That I didn't give my best. Yeah. This is from Box Fit Hampshire. Where that is? Is Joe Kazagi the king of Wales or not, and why either way? So is he the best? Hundred hundred percent undefeated, best footballer I've ever seen, best work I've ever seen, fastest hands I've ever seen. The training I've seen him go through, I got through with him was second and then unbelievable, unbelievable. People always ask his arguments for him, for, you know, greatest ever. Now mind Wales, greatest ever, full stop, isn't it? You know what I mean? With a record like that and all that. Right, I don't know. think the Americans will ever allow him. No, of course not. Like, like, but I, I don't know. I don't know. The Americans did love him. I think mm. he's boss boys at the wrong end of the time. But then people say, yeah, but look what Hopkins did after the I was just about to say. You know, he went on to win a like every title, yeah. uh, defended a few times. I, yeah. think, I, I think even if I can't remember. But you know, I thought I thought Joe was brilliant. I thought Joe mm. was brilliant. You know, and being being day in day out with him every day, and you know, had a bond together. And that camp was special, wasn't yeah. it? Mate, it was, it was just great. It was just funny. That it time, was, that camp. It was, it was just it was it was like they had a, they had an incredible bond, father and son, and they used to fucking shout at each other, slang each other off, and. Angel used to call him oh, some of the things they do. Mm. But at the time the gym finished, fucking mates. I, I see them. Yeah, sure boys, boys are taking over that gym. Corner and Joe. They've taken over that gym. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There was something I read the other day. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Joe phoned me up the other day, so I want to bring some boys up sparring really? and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So I, think he's, I think he's, he's found it tough for me since his dad passed away. Yeah, 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 they were very yeah. close. They were very close. And, um, uh, and I don't know what too much I'm doing, but no, no, yeah, no. it's me with my dad. Yeah, of course, yeah. Just, just wrecks you, like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jonathan Ford, and this, I can't understand my own writing. Who is the best talent that n- didn't make it and why? And I don't suppose that has to be coming out of a gym, I don't know if you've seen anyone anywhere else, because what he said about Tobias, and you know what Tobias, not only couldn't surprise, didn't make it. There's loads out there, there's loads out there. It's, it's loads out there. It's, it's, I've seen I've seen it for you, probably don't want to say no. For me, probably Kevin Mitchell was one of the best, uh, one of my, my favourite fighters to watch. He never won a world title, I think he should have. Mm. Uh, but I don't think it's from a lack of trying, he, he just came up against him. Came up against him, yeah, yeah. And yeah. stuff yeah. like that. And, Fucking, um, it was a Cassidus as well, he lost, was it? That's the, I was there that night, and it, it, was, it, was a, it was a fucking Eevee atmosphere, you know. We had, um, it was Ken Mitchell and Corners, first big world fight for West Ham and Upton Park, and you had Cassidus, and he, he's in the ring, and I remember they introduced Kevin Mitchell as a challenger, and while they were introduced Kevin Mitchell, I looked over at Cassidus, yeah. and he was fucking whacking himself in the face, right? And I'd be following, smashing, so I remember looking at someone, and I was like, Fucking hell, like his music came in, it was like an eerie atmosphere. And, you know, you Kevin was on a piss and not doing things right and stuff like that for that one. Um, but no, I, I, I like to think he could have done a bit more. Like, mm. I was really a big fan of Kevin Mitchell, yeah. I you know, always really like nice boy as well, yeah. nice boy as well. And I just I think he could have done a little bit more. Like, mm. you know, yeah. Um, is there anyone in Swansea that could take a dig like Dominguez to answer that? It's fucking no, wrong, no, no. uh. What's the funniest gym story you've got? Oh, 
Man, I just got a little bit of something like that. I was trying to think about other things that are going through my head. It's just fucking loads. Like, we've, had, we've had such a laugh in the gym. Like, in some of the things we had, we had a reputation board by now. And Mark, having his first time, Mark Davis. Right, yeah. Mark the boxer, he's Mark the fucking Yeah, yeah. Um, he had his first fight, and the boy, he's seen him, he's up in Merth, and he said, Oh, we box fight. He said, Oh, boy, man. He said, Oh, what's your name, Mark? And he said, Oh, I think I'm fighting him. He said, he said, um, you know, my dude's gym. He said, yeah. He said, oh, yeah. Boy, he's kicking him up. Shut up, no way. Mark, yeah, done a couple of times. Dal Morgan, the Beast Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess the Welsh Championship final, guess the final. Guy walks past him, sees him on the pads. Oh, oh, oh. Calls Dan in the ring. Fucking, uh, calls the other boy in the ring. Boy wouldn't come. Fuck, he went on, did he? No way. Yeah. No, I saw yeah. stories why he's in the gym. Uh, it, it could be a pro gym, it could be an arms gym. You know, me, me and Gary, we went, we went great laughs. Uh, I couldn't tell you some of the stories to be honest. <laughs> uh, me and Joe, me and Joe out in Vegas, me out in Miami, we had some fucking laughs. Like, but uh, you know, a couple of things I gotta keep secret for the book. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> is it a book? Uh, yeah, I have been asked. Like, and uh, I get, hopefully, hopefully, I get his fiftieth and something more. I was going to that. Yeah, I told you earlier. I think I'd be great fucking uh, story. Man, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I got, lo- I got loads yeah. of stories. Like, and you know, I have been asked. Like, if I get his fiftieth and what I was telling you about yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. you think that would be what, it, a, ch- what a fucking last chat that yeah, could be yeah. like you know so we, we, we see you know one more for the road and I, I think I know the answer to this who in your career did you want to fight but never got the chance to you were thinking cleverly innit no Johnny Nelson yeah yeah just just to, to put it right yeah, yeah just to think because I think Johnny Johnny was a great fighter yeah Johnny was a great fighter but I remember I boxed out in Italy we 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 trying to build this up together. It's a boxing show in Italy. And I boxed a boy called Marco Heinichan or something like that. He just went the distance with Paulo Vidos, the heavyweight bronze medalist in the Olympics. I'm only a cruiserweight. I'm a 38 cruiserweight, and I knocked him out first round. So I went back in and watched Johnny Nelson. He's fighting a boy with Cantatore. Nothing special. Uh, strong, but that's about it. Like, and I remember watching after four or five rounds. I think fuck, he's getting the Nelson. And uh, from there then, I, I knew uh, I was mine. Like, mm-hmm. You know, a couple of years ago, before that, it would have been a fucking hard, hard fight. Mm-hmm. I just think he was slowing down. He was getting caught a bit more. I, you know, I was nothing I want to tell him to his face, which I have. Well, that's yeah. right, that's right, too, because you did the yeah. thing with him the other yeah. week, didn't you? And um, I watched it, and it's great, because Johnny Nelson, when I watched Johnny Nelson at that time, because like, I was a fan of you, I was, like, frustrated you didn't fight yeah. him, and I always thought that he was jibbing it. Tw- twice. But, yeah, the, and but it, obviously he said in that thing about the injury and, but then, and, but then and he was all up, that. He was up there, he was up there, last time he was up there. Spencer Fiedler was there. Right. And the knowledge, Spencer. And uh, he was talking about that. And uh, he said, oh, my knee. And Spencer just come up to nowhere. Knee. Oh, fucking listen to me, he said. He's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he went, it's all part of Enzo Mack. Yeah. I can see, have you seen it? No, no, no. It's really nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. They, they talk about it, honestly. But like, looking at Enzo, and I can still see this like fucking burning fire. It's like, yeah. I can do it, man. I definitely do it, man. I kick him in the face. He basically says that to him. Like, yeah. and it's, but it's brilliant, though. It's like, when, I, when Johnny Nelson was boxing, I wasn't a fan. But over time, seeing him on, you know, IFL and yeah, all this yeah. guy. He comes stuff, across like, great. He come yeah, across as, as a fucking tidy bloke, like, you know what I mean? How many more of them? Are they, are they going to keep getting back in regularly? Is that what you're hoping for? I think you're always open. Mate, mate I, I don't know. It's like, uh, every time I go on something, I always get great comments. Yeah. Get, um, yeah. I'm working for a Fury fight next week in BT. I've done the yard fight. and no, I'm not signed to anyone, so I, I'm... That's great. You can go yeah, 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 I think that's prepared. I, 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 to be honest, like, I, I think they think people like the way I say it because I don't mind. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is it. Because you're not tied to one particular... But I wouldn't anyway. If yeah. I was tied, no, I, I, I could it. not... I could not go on somewhere and say something because someone wants me to say something. Mm-hmm. I think, um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I never criticise anyone. I'll try and give them constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, you know, I got, I got to say it honest, as I feel yeah. it. I think you're very well respected company, in the game. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, if he was, if he weren't, then BT wouldn't ask you and Sky ask yeah, you. Of course, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know, if BT would look at oh, he's on Sky the other day, fuck him, like, do you know what I mean? Or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. But if they both. I took it to You'd be the only guy, wouldn't you? Surely. To, to I'd be the only guy going back and forth, too. I don't know. I think Andy Lee's done it. He's very good as well. Um, I think Jamie Moore's done it. 
Uh, but I've, I've always got on with the Sky Boys. I've always mm. got on with Andy Scott, and Ed Robinson, Adam Smith. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've always got on well yeah. on the toilet. You know, I, I, I need a ticket for something. I phone Adam, no problem at all. I, I phone Frank for something. That, you know, I go, you know, it, it was great the other week. I, I think Frank wanted done a, a GQ interview and he said, Who's your favourite fighter? He said, Well, I've had so many, but the one that stands out is Enzo. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It was great. Yeah. You know, I always got on with them. Andy Aylin, he has a bad rep in a fight. I got on with him. Francis Warren, Frank son, he fucking saved my life in Russia. What do you that story? This is the first podcast. I got on with him, right? So uh, I, I seem to get on with everyone. Like, mm. um, I know, I'm not a type of person that can cause trouble. And that's I think that's the way. That's a Swansea thing as well. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Easy go away. It's because we, we all know we don't. We're thinking yeah. we're sitting here, but that's not having a fucking. But like I said, but like I said, I, I done it because I loved it. There was no other reason. I didn't want fame. I didn't want money. I didn't want. I wanted a world belt because I wanted a world belt, and yeah. uh, that was it for me. Yeah. I wanted to make my father the proudest man ever, and I did. Totally agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking fantastic. You got any more, Pat? No, we all done. We brilliant. Like we thought we it thought was. It would be. Yeah. The first thing we said when he got the idea, I went, "Do you know what? I'll be easy." Yeah. You know, because it's fucking Enzo. He loves to talk. Just there and go. Just leave it. Just just throw an Enzo and leave it no, fucking yeah. talk. Enzo, thank you very much, mate. Well, well, it's always well, a fucking well. pleasure. Let me just do this quickly because I promised I would for Denty this Sunday, eighth of September. Gower Rebels Scooter Club annual ride out. Starts at 12 pm, commercial in Gowerton. It's a DJ from one, live music, Phil Baglow, these thrilling lies, and the Zimfandels. They're raising money for the cardiomyopathy ward in Morriston Hospital. Ends, I want to thank you again. Pad, we're out here. You yeah. can copy the idea for fucking next week. <laughs> Let's eat those space kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, uh, Ed. Oh, I've always been eating them to me. Peace. Ambition is critical.